Okay. Hi, everyone. I felt like streaming today. So, I decided to do it. How are you? Alright, just getting a few things together. Egg. There we are. Alright. Here we are. <laughs> Feel free to ignore me mumbling to myself for a little bit. <laughs> okay, here we are. Right, here we go. I do like the opening cinematic. I think I'm going to watch it today. <laughs> I haven't watched it in a while. I'm not there. <laughs> Alas, poor Minotaur, we hardly knew you. I just really like watching the cinematic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Effector. How are you today? You are a dancing polar bear, it looks like. So that's good. Or a mo moogle. It's a moogle. Of course it is. How silly of me. A dancing moogle. Twer twerking moogle. I, uh, I understand. Hello, Zens. How are you today? I'm old. To me, twerking is dancing. <laughs> I know it's different, but... <laughs> but it's dancing. Dancing Moogle. Twerking Moogle. Okay. I'm glad to hear it, Zez. I figure I'm going to play a little Neverwinter Nights tonight. While watching to make sure my cat doesn't stumble around. She's high on gabapentin and it's kind of hilarious, but it's also a little alarming when she just kind of... Yes, I am talking about you. Yeah. Go back to sleep. Cats. <laughs> you never would have guessed. I know. I'm so unpredictable. You never know what I'm going to do next. Steve would definitely say hi to you if she wasn't high as a kite. She's very cute, though. She's sleeping on a pillow. Underneath one of my shirts. So, all right. <laughs> I am doing great since then. Thank you. All right. Well, where I left off, um, you may or may not recall. It's okay if you don't. Um, I had just turned in the last of the Water Davian creatures. And I'm invited to take part or at least witness the ritual that's involved in curing everything. It doesn't involve physicians or a lab, from the sound of it. But, you know, Forgotten Realms. It is what it is. 
I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong at this point. Um, certainly there are no missing plot threads involving um, possible would-be traitors that can make things very difficult. Just to check, I do not appear to have any subquests that I have undertaken and not completed. There is my henchman note. There are the subquests I could, did complete. And if there are any others in this chapter, I guess they're just going to have to remain undone. Bit of, a bit of a sad thing there, but I think that's okay. My inventory is still unsorted. I intended to do that and promptly forgot. And I'm going to lose some of that, I think, by the start of the next chapter. I should put potions in that box. I should. But later, later. All right. I suppose. I think I'm going to talk really briefly with the folks in this room, just to see if they have anything different to say now that, you know, I'm a big hero. A big hero in shiny, shiny panties. Hello again, and well met as always. Is there something I may do for you? Ah, sadly no. I cannot impress my uh, would-be girlfriend's boyfriend. I want to. Lord Nashor made a mistake when he appointed Erebeth to be in charge of finding a cure for the plague. Oh, we got all four now. My Hellmites are better equipped to deal with this crisis of faith. People should put their faith in the gods, not in Lady Erebeth. You know, it's such a shame we've never been able to figure out who the uh, traitor is. Really, such a shame. I can't imagine who that could possibly be. There's certainly no one here that seems to be remotely suspicious or unreasonably antagonistic at all points in time. That would be silly. Alright, so let's see. You are a welcome sight as always. Is this visit in regards to the fourth water Davian creature? Or did I save it before I gave it to her? We are all eagerly awaiting its recovery. I guess it as is. As soon as we have the fourth component, we can Oops. begin the ritual to create the cure. <laughs> I thought I already gave it to her. Oh well. Let's do it now. Truly the heart of a hero beats within your chest. Of all who have sought the creatures, you have proven yourself above everyone else. I get to tell her what happened. That old scoundrel? I suppose I cannot expect such men to give up their ways, even in times like this. The cure will now be ours. Neverwinter owes you a debt it can never repay. All I can offer is a small sum of 500 gold pieces. Well, I have no need of gold. Your thanks is reward enough, because I am still trying to woo both you and your boyfriend. Your charity and selflessness are an example to us all. I only wish more were as noble as you. Indeed, I am very noble. You have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark very shiny. times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. I really have no reason to dawdle, I think. So let's go to the ritual chamber. Let's see what happens. I'm sure it'll then be... we shall waste no more time. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. I'm sure nothing can possibly go wrong. Ooh. So when my game doesn't go wrong. Ah, let's see. My journal is updated. The cure at last. Oh, wow, look. No more quests. Hail. You have provided a great service to all of Neverwinter in these trying times. All right, so this is after hours of preparation. The arcane ritual to construct the cure for the plague is about to begin, as per the instructions of Kelvin Blackstaff Aronson of Waterdeep. Arabeth, Fenthic, Desther, and a half dozen others now plan to combine the four strange reagents that were almost lost amidst the dying streets of Neverwinter. Lord Nasher watches on, awaiting the arrival of the recruit that made it all of this possible. That's me, I think. Oh, I'm actually wandering off. Why am I doing that? I don't know. All right. <laughs> As a token of Lord Nasher's gratitude, 
He thought you might want to bear witness to the cure's creation after all your hard work. It would be really funny if he said, no, no, you can't watch. What have you done for us lately? Before the ritual proceeds, however, the four assembled would each like the chance to speak with you and offer their personal thanks for what you have achieved. I'm kind of thinking Desther is not going to offer me his personal things. Go on, speak with them. I must inform the town crier of the good news. Maybe you should wait till everything's finished before you announce the good news. Oh, well, at least my henchman's here. Hello, Tommy. All right. I am in a room. There's a divining pool. Anything in the divining pool? I thought I clicked it. Hold on. I did not. Okay. Alright, so I have not left anything behind that I need. Thank you, Divining Pool, for letting me know that. There's a weird swirly thing over hey, here. What can tell me to Nah, not really. <laughs> you know what to do, don't you? I like you, Tommy. <laughs> I have no advice for you at this point. Um, oh, there's Sergal. Hello to you. Arabeth has instructed me to provide whatever assistance I can to you in your mission. Alright, so... I guess if I need to use the Stone of Recall during this ba batch of things, I'm going to be here. I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's not like anything can possibly go wrong at this point, of course. I get to see how the other half lives in the castle, though. This is a pretty castle. Alright, I guess I should stop talk to people, huh? So we have a priest of Tyr. We have Arabeth. We have more priests of Tyr. And some folks over there. Let's talk to Arabeth. Greetings to you. Preparations are well underway for the ritual. If all goes well, we will have the cure in just a few moments. I must say, I knew you would be instrumental in this cause. You've always presented the confident look of a person called to action. Is there anything I should know? What happens now? You needn't worry about anything. Your efforts got us this far, and now the ritual will take care of the rest. Following that, I will see to your reward. For now, really? you can leave what must be done to us. You've earned the right to bear witness, however, and I'm sure the others would say the same. I have questions about I the ritual. I will try to explain. Is there anything specific you wish to know? What is involved? Well, several of our Tyrian priests have already begun preparations. Their meditation will allow the different components to be combined smoothly. Desta, Fenthic, and I will all begin the main incantations as soon as we are prepared. If all goes well, we'll have the cure in mere moments. None too soon for Lord Nasher. The plague has weakened him considerably. I think he almost considers it a personal insult to be seen this way. I imagine he's more used to a stand-up fight. Yes, I would agree. He is archetypal. We are almost certain the plague was an attack, but he has no idea what kind of villain would stoop archetypal. so low. That's a, that's a pretty good backhanded compliment, I think. It is a bit of a shocking revelation. I wish we still lived in a time when the possibility of someone doing this was unknown and unthinkable. Slight typo there. I don't I don't point out the typo is not a malicious message. As I said before, I think it'll be helpful for me to remember that this has typos when I'm playing fan-made modules. Because these games do have quite a bit more involved in editing process. So if even a professional-made game can have typos and little mistakes then I definitely shouldn't be very critical of a fan-made game that has the same thing. So what form will the cure take? Well, we have prepared a small container. The mixture itself will be fairly unspectacular to look at, despite the importance of it. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's got to go to a lot of people, so I wonder how that's going to work. Oh, well. As sure you will. Can figure it out. What do you want me to say? Ah, uh, well, will things be getting back to normal? Well, once we have the cure in hand, we will determine the best way to get it to the most people as soon as possible. It will take time, so we'll treat the most severe cases of plague first, regardless of station. 
I just hope. Well, we'll worry about other things later. Well, I should hope it would be without her, regardless of station. We are very near our goal, but I can't help but worry about the effects of the plague. There is a great scar across Neverwinter. Already I see the distrust. The mood of the city has changed. When all is done, the people will want someone to blame, and I don't know if we will find anyone. Well, I guess we can blame our enemies. Or our allies. <clears throat> I or some random guy. Like this when we are so close to a cure. That wouldn't happen, this is though. A happy day, and we got here because of you. I have questions about your I'm fellows. I'm certain they can speak for themselves, but I will answer any questions you have. How is Lord Nashifer? You should really ask him that. He despises being thought of as weak, and would much prefer to be involved in any talk of his health. Has your opinion of Desther changed any? I would ask whether your opinion of him has suffered. It was your efforts that brought us this far. His claims of action seem based on your results. While you searched, his Helmites blessed. While you fought, his Helmites blessed. The comfort he brought will pale next to the actual cure you have provided. Well, I'm not gonna argue with that. Of course, he is needed for the final ritual, so I cannot dismiss him entirely. Fenthic also serves as his advocate, so he must be deserving of some respect. Now, this is none of my fucking business, but I'm gonna ask anyway, because, you know, I, I had decided a long time ago that Steven wants to bang both of them. So will your relationship with Fenthic improve now? This time has been difficult, and our difference of opinion made it more so. Fenthic and I have had little to speak of besides the plague. I understand why he vests so much hope in Dester, but I could not. I know the power of faith, but you need to back it up with action. Well, the gods are powerful. Why not rely on I am a paladin of the just god tier. My sword is edged with belief, but it is my arm that must still swing it. Fair enough. I simply feared that if we waited for Faith alone to save us, we would have more martyrs than survivors. She's probably right about that. Yes, farewell for now. There is much I must do to prepare for the casting to come. The incantations are very complex. You should speak with the others. No doubt they will each have their own feelings about how our situation has changed. All right. Nasher, Arabeth, Fenthic, and Desther. Speaking with Desther ought to be fun, I think. Hello. Priest is deep in medica meditation. Okay, well, I'm not going to interrupt him then. And uh, there's Nasher. Now there's Fenthic and there's Desther. Let's talk to Desther. This should be fun. Actually, Fenthic, because after all, you know. You can't see me, but I'm wiggling my eyebrows, Groucho Marx style. Hello, Fenthic. Hello there. A grand day, isn't it? And you, you are to thank. It was your effort that allowed us to progress this far. You found the Water Davian creatures, allowing Desther and his Helmite brethren to concentrate on helping the spirits of the people. Now he can construct the cure, and all will be well. Uh, won't create the, uh, the cure alone, others are involved. Well, yeah. I was happy to be part of the team. Yes, I knew you could be trusted. Just as I knew Dester would prove critical. Even now he... Well, let's just say he's helping. Despite what others think. Oh dear. Really, Fenthic, now is not the time for such thought. Others will not understand like you do. Now their dynamic is a little bit disturbing. Someone get that poor guy away from him. I blame daddy issues. Of course, of course. It is better that we look forward, but in a few mo in but a few moments we will have the cure. Why did you hesitate to tell me something? Oh, it was nothing really. Something better left unsaid. It is a matter for Desther and I alone. You can tell me. I've proven myself trustworthy. Yes, yes you have, and I will not push you aside. I've seen my companions do that too much already. You see, Desther has been pushed out of the plans for the ceremony. His efforts to help are ignored. My companions mean well, but they are too untrusting. Have you done something to help him? It's a small thing, really. I mean, he needs to help for the cure to work. He shouldn't be held back by suspicions now. He's proven himself. Has he? Okay. You see, for the cure to work, he needs to draw magical energy from the Temple of Helm. It's apparently very dangerous. It might kill him. Arabeth and the others would never allow it. So I gave him my key for the wards protecting Castle Never. 
The magic of Helm will aid in our spell. Ah, uh, doesn't that leave the castle unprotected? Of course not. I would never endanger the castle. Desper will simply channel a little Helmite energy to help the cure be as potent as possible. I feel like this is a bad idea. Do you guys? Hmm. There's no danger. The wards are still in place. No one can enter or leave without alerting those of us with keys. Ah, uh, what would Arabeth think of this? Arabeth, I love her dearly, but her eyes have been closed by the horror of the plague. I must do this for the good of us all. You'll see. Okay. Well, you've hung around with the guy. Uh, well, what will happen during the ritual? The Tyran priests have already begun the incantations. Arabeth, Duster, and I will join them when we are all ready. We should have the cure soon after. I hope it will work on the advanced symptoms. There are so many people infected. What form will it take? I, I don't really know. I would like to think it would be an inspiring beacon of magic and hope, glowing with divine energy and radiating healing warmth. <laughs> of course, the size of the container we prepared seems inadequate for such a miracle. I may be a bit overexcited. I do like him. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Just, uh, you know, questionable choice in friends. I have questions about your fellows. Oh, I would not presume to speak for them. If you wish to know what they think, I'm certain they will welcome your questions. Will they? How is Lord Nathashire faring? He has kept his gallant posture throughout, though I worry for him. He will not show a need for help. He may be far weaker than he seems. Will your relationship with Arabeth improve now? What? I'm not sure what you mean. Certainly we have been occupied by the events of the plague, but I wouldn't let her minor disagreements color my love for her. That's good. I do want to face him, after all. You think she feels differently? I haven't seen any signs of it, and I certainly know her well enough. She was just concerned for the sick. You are mistaken. Mm, perhaps you see what you want to see? An empty statement. You're merely another doubter, trying to see the worst in everything. Well, I've refused to fall in step. Oh, well, that's fair. Uh, you keep secrets from her. That isn't a clue. I have done what I must for the good of us all, and I believe that all of my actions will be vindicated in the end. I hope you're right. Okay, okay, let's go back to the other questions. Can I ask about Dester? Nope, I cannot. I guess he's already made his position clear about that. I'm sure nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> yes, it's best I concentrate on what's coming. I'll have to be very careful not to disturb the incantation Dester utters during the ritual. You should speak with Dester and Lord Nasher. While their views of the coming ceremony are no doubt, yeah, are no doubt different, it would be wise to speak with both of them. Okay. Let's talk with you. Hi. Well, hello. I imagine you are well pleased with yourself. This is your doing, after all. That sounds almost accusatory. I'm fascinating. Just happy to help. We all sought a cure in our own way. Perhaps. But it was definitely your thuggish actions that brought us to this point. You overstepped my Helmite brethren very effectively. Bravo. Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I think this seems a little unnecessarily antagonistic for a triumphant moment. Of course, now is the time for you to set, step aside. The ritual will not require you. You may watch as we create the plague cure, but do not interfere. Why did you have Fenthic give you his castle never key? That is my affair. I explained my need to Fenthic and he saw the wisdom in it. Getting the proper result from the ritual requires a certain amount of risk. Magical risk or tempting the wrath of Arabeth? Well, that is certainly part of it. Arabeth dislikes me and makes her difficult to deal with. I am not sure what Fenthic sees in her, really. I doubt she can provide a real proven reason for her distrust. Fenthic is more understanding. He knows that faith is a powerful tool. What do you intend to do? I am going to fulfill my promises and make sure the cure is successfully created. There is no other purpose to this ceremony. You must admit that it seems odd. Perhaps to you, but this whole ritual is beyond your understanding. You may rest assured that the cure will be successfully created. Okay. Do try for hurry. No questions about the ritual. And I suggest you study magic for a few more years. You are not a part of the spell, so I see no point in having you mimic the incantations. We will invoke energy both arcane and divine, and when we are done here, there will be a cure for the plague. That is all you need to know. What will you do after the plague is cured? With a cure in hand, my reason for being in Neverwinter will be gone. I will be returning to Helmfold for a time. Beyond that is my own affair. Okay, I have questions about your fellows. My interest in these people is shrinking as we near the end of the plague. You would do better to speak with them yourself. Alright, well... 
Yes, let me concentrate on the ritual to come. Goodbye. I'm sure you are proud of all you have done. I don't know. Oh, I believe you have yet to speak with Lord Nasher. You should do so before we commence the ritual. He is your lord, after all. My lord? Well, Helm Helmswold is outside of the city proper. This guy seems a little sketchy, though. Can I talk to Arabeth? Can I report? Can I, you know, tattle to my girlfriend Hello about again. what our mutual I boyfriend is doing? Talk, but as soon as you have well, I can. Speaking with everyone, we can begin the ceremony. Fenthic says that he gave his word key to Duxler. I am aware. Our guards here are very observant. There will be consequences, but not for now. There are more important things at hand. Okay. I feel like maybe this might be a good reason to... Well, no. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Jester carefully, but he is needed for the incantations, and I will not risk his temperamental nature and spoil our chance for Why do we need him exactly? Benthic takes foolish risks, but I will not allow any harm to come from this. The plague will not divide the living. Okay. Yes, farewell for now. There is much I must do to prepare for the casting to come. The incantations are very complex. You have yet to speak with Lord Nasher. I'm sure he would like to extend his congratulations and thanks. You have earned the honor. I feel like the plot wants me to talk to Lord Nasher. I don't know why I feel this way. I just feel like that is very strongly what the plot wants me to do. So I'm going to wander around this way and not do it for a little bit. I just want to see what's back here. <laughs> All right. Well, nothing interesting, huh? I guess I should talk to the old boss. Well, you must be the one Erebeth has told me of. I must say that I appreciate what you have done. So this guy actually is apparently, I read somewhere, not sure if it's true, but apparently the dude in our intro. Hence the sword having the Neverwinter Night logo on it. Um, he's, uh, you know, aged some since then. Neverwinter is going through a difficult time. It is good to know that we can count on people of quality to assist us. Am I going to tattle on Fenthic? I, pro I, I feel like I probably should, because Vester is a creepy fucker. Um. I would ask you not to push into the affairs of my trusted advisors. Fenthic has my full confidence, and by his word, I trust Dester to act responsibly. All right, all right. Well, I'm just saying, you know, considering that all of you know about this, and no one's actually interfering, it would be really kind of dickish if all of the blame got put on one person when everybody's just kind of ignoring this. I, Do not concern yourself with it. Castle Neverwinter is well I'm just kind of thinking about that. I mean, not that anything would go wrong. Is all that matters now. Not that anything would go wrong. It's just I feel like since everybody knows, maybe we shouldn't should be careful about scapegoating someone at the end of this. Right. I have questions about the ritual. Thank you, but that will be handled by Erebeth, Fenthic, and Dester. The details of it need not concern me. You know, for all that I bitched about uh, Dester being kind of a, a dick and, and uh, you know, uh, with the backhanded insults, etc. Lord Nasher doesn't seem to be all that friendly either. Things will not be normal until we have captured and punished the culprits behind the plague. I have never seen my never winter injured so. Okay, I do gossip. Investigations in the docks suggest that you knew Vengal blood cell? Vengal? Yes, I had reports of his activity in the docks. We used to clash during my adventuring youth, but things have changed. I would have sought him out, but not while I am weak. To face him now would taint the battles we've had before. I've new villainies to deal with. New villains, but not the kind you're used to? No, they aren't. These cowards scuttle behind the scenes as we shrivel and die to a plague like some creeping old age. <clears throat> well, Van Gaal may want to bring back the old days, but I have responsibilities and I will not indulge him. I will allow Love it, that. though I would request that you make it brief. If you wish information about my trusted advisors, I suggest you ask them yourself. They have been instructed to be cooperative. Does that extend to each other? You are referring to the disagreements between Erebeth, Fenthic, and Dester. 
Yes, they have had different ideas about how to fight the plague. I demanded it. I have no use for advisors and officers who merely parrot each other. I wanted every option covered, regardless of whether everyone was in agreement. I mean, that seems somewhat reasonable. And now it's clear Erebeth was right to suggest that you help. And Fenthic was also wise to advocate for Dester as aggressively as he did. The cure will soon be ours. Okay, well, I will wish him goodbye. Yes, it is best that we commence with the ritual. Ready yourself, the plague ends with this. So now what do, what do we do? I guess I walk closer? To watch. Alright. Oh. oh, this is kind of cool looking. Very soon. That's not om ominous at all. It's done. It worked. We have the cure. Yes, Fenthic. I have the cure. No. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> now, my brethren, attack! Oh, who could have possibly seen this coming? Can I hit him? Can I? Master, what treachery is this? All right. Well, let's get. Let's take that guy out. No, who could have possibly seen this coming? Alright, well, let's kill that guy. Where are those guys? These guys okay? Quickly, you must defeat the invaders. Okay, well, I'm happy to do that. For Beth. Hurry! Get through the portal while I can still maintain it! Find the cure! Get Dester and... and Fenthic too! He may be under a spell! I don't know! Can you imagine? I must wish Fenthic harm rather than face the possibility that that he might have known of this. People will think he did. Well, let's see this. Let's hope he went to stop him. What was he thinking? If he had a part in this, it hardly matters now. He looks like he fled with Destin. The people will not accept this action. People won't let this pass. They have been denied a cure, and they will want vengeance on the traitor and anyone that helped him. I won't be able to protect him. I won't. Perhaps, perhaps delivering Dester will mitigate things. Find him alive if you can. Find Fenthic and get him to... I don't know. I don't know what will help now. What will happen to Fenthic? I... I don't know. People will think he's in league with the greatest threat we have ever known. I don't know. He was mistaken. He was an advocate for a traitor. People will not understand his naivete, his trust. Could you blame them for finding a scapegoat? I'll... I'll maintain the portal as long as I can, but it may be a while before we can send guards through. You'll have to go on your own. I'll also try to make this sound better than it is. I can't hide Fenthic's blind trust of Dester, but if I explain it in context, maybe... I mean... Hi, Americ! How are you? I am playing Neverwinter Nights. We have just, uh... We have just made a cure and everything has unexpectedly gone horribly, horribly wrong. I still feel like blaming the one guy when every single person in this room knew that he was trusting that other guy. It seems a bit much, but, you know. Everyone needs a scapegoat, I guess. Uh, where does the portal go? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I can't see through Dester's magic. It probably leads to wherever he and his false Helmites originally came from. Dester claimed he came from Helm's Hold in the east, but I don't know how that could be true. They would have no part of a plot like this. Wherever the portal leads, I'm sure it will be dangerous. He must know we would send someone after him. Be careful. So if they're fake, where are the real ones? I don't know. Perhaps Dester killed them. It seems impossible. He came from Helm's Hold. If that great hall has fallen, this is an even greater tragedy. 
This is a huge undertaking. It seems like Desta has done all this to promote the plague. But why? So many dead. Now the hold? Well, I guess I'll go as quick City as I can. Guards are needed elsewhere, so this task falls to you. Go before the portal falls. <laughs> Neverwinter Nights is treating me very well. It is, however, very climactic right now. Who could have ever seen this coming? The c the character that we most distrusted turned out to be a traitor. We are betrayed. The cure is gone, and I am to believe Fenthic had a part in this as well. I will have someone's head over this. Oh, that could be a bad thing. We must thing. bring Desta to justice. We must find him and demand his explanation. Fenthic as well. Well, Desta appears to be a traitor. What are your thoughts? I don't know what to say about this. If Desta has been against us all along, his villainy has affected all of us. Every plague victim. We suspected the plague was artificial, that it was an attack of some sort. But I can't believe someone in our midst would actively prevent us from curing it. I can't imagine the motivation of this man. Obviously, he wants us to suffer, but the reason why escapes me. Who are the attackers? From first glance, they appear to be some of the Helmite brethren that were dispensing blessings around the city. I suppose if Desta was false, then they were as well. I will have my guards examine the Helmite temple and try to understand what these people were hoping to accomplish. I charge you with finding Desta himself. Should he be killed? Desta is deserving of death, as are any accomplices, but I must know why this was done, why my Neverwinter was attacked. And we still need a cure. The ritual was not interrupted, so Desta must have the untainted result. It must be retrieved. Once I have the cure, once we all have the cure, then Desta will be judged, his plot and masters exposed, and punishment will be dealt. There is little time for questions now, but I will answer as best I can. Oh, poor, poor stupid Fenthic. His actions seem foolish. He will be judged harshly if his reasons do not satisfy. I would give him the benefit of the doubt, but I lack the patience <laughs> I once had. I have seen Neverwinter crippled with plague. I have seen attempts to poison. Now I see attacks that cause panic and confusion. It is too much. I like that having to no read this dialogue. Left. If Fenthic aided in this attack, he will stand accused with Desta and meet swift justice. The people will demand it. Well, what's he really done? Nothing outright criminal yet. Neverwinter is affairs. I mean, I told you directly like that he was letting his his boyfriend uh, attack. Justice. That's kind of mean they of me. Um, Nash is kind of a dick. I mean, I outright told him. I don't know if you're here for that. But I outright told him that Fenthic was letting Dester inside. And Nash was like, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. And it's like, okay, it's a mistake. But you knew about the mistake. I told you about the mistake. Ugh. They will not be kind to apparent collaborators. Whatever his true motives, Fenthic spoke on behalf of Desta many times, so he is already tainted by association. If his reasons do not absolutely satisfy, I do not foresee a happy end to this matter. Erebeth will know what is coming. I think we all do. Yeah, that's not going to possibly go badly. Following Desta, but I have learned a few things about elves in my dealings with them over the years. It was explained to me that the human mind is jarring to an elf. They are much longer lived, and their changes are more gradual. They think long term. Fenthic and Erebeth are young elves. I cannot justify what Fenthic appears to have done, but perhaps he doesn't comprehend how quickly a man can change, or seem to. Desta was a friend yesterday and an enemy today. A lifetime for such a change would be drastic to an elf. I suppose a day is unthinkable. Go quickly while Erebeth can still maintain the portal. Never winter. I must have an explanation. Yeah, well. Alright, so we're gonna run off. Ah, at least I still look spiffy. Oh, Road to Helm's Old. Uh, what's this thing? It is a farmhouse. It has a... And there's someone named Brigan. Hello, Brigan. Who are you? By Jiminy, how many of you are in there? 
You must be friends of good man Desta. Can I ask you some questions? How I'm willing. I reckon you and I could wag our tongues all day. So you know Duster, do you? I add I do. I first met good man Duster the night of Shield Meet. He must be an important fella, because the whole place shut down when he left for Neverwinter. Now that he's back, maybe things will start getting back to normal around here. Hmm, I'm guessing not. Shield Meet? What's that? Why, it's a planting festival for folks like me. For the Helmites, though, they come to the keep and figure out how to protect us over the coming year. Priests and paladins get reassigned all over. If they're in Baldur's Gate one year, they're in Neverwinter the next. Anything strike you odd at this shield meet? Aye, I remember waking up to hear shouts and the sounds of fighting coming from the keep. Just thought the priests were in their cups after all the festivities. Uh, why do you think the place shut down? Fear of the plague, I reckon. Not very befitting of Helm, if you ask me, but maybe staying in all, in all the time helps protect us somehow. How do you know they're not all dead? I'm still making deliveries there, though they're not going through as much as they used to. They ain't coming to the gate no more either. I leave a half-stocked wagon outside the keep every week, and they leave me an empty one to swap to with enough gold to make it worth my while. You sure he's back? Right as rain. I was heading down to catch some river fish for tomorrow when he and his priest friends showed up right where you're standing. Which way did he go? Up to the keep. Only way anyone can go now that the bridge is out. There anything else you wanted to know? What is this place? Why, this here's the road up to Helm's Hold, where all the priests live. There's no better lord than a Helmite, I say, because they always protect you in hard times. Uh, well... Never went in the other direction. At least it would be if good man Dester hasn't had me get my oxen. I probably shouldn't have said that. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, I'm going to use Persuade and tell him the truth. By Jiminy! You're serious? Now I told my wife there was something funny about good man Duster, did you now? When he left for Neverwinter, he had me and my ox tear down the bridge behind him. He said it was to protect me from plague bearers breaking quarantine. Why, that was a fine bridge, too. My father built it, and I'm the fool who tore it down. Toadstools! Jiminy, you can't even trust your neighbors these days. That's it. I'm not taking a chance on anybody no more. Do what you want. I'm leaving. Well, that seems to have gone well. What's inside? Well, this is a very nice farmhouse. There's a desk. Uh, is there anything I can steal? I mean, investigate. Well, I'm going to conscript this potion. He's leaving. It's not like he needs it. <laughs> Look, I'm a very good paladin. I haven't been demoted yet. I mean, it's probably only a matter of time, but it hasn't happened yet. That's that's the key part here. The key takeaway. All right. Wow, it feels weird to be outside in the fresh air. No screaming in the background. No wailing. No wailing death. Oh, well, these look fun. Hello. Why is there a bunch of undead people outside the a priest's keep? I feel like... That was fun. Hi. That hurt. Let's knock him down. I do like knocking things down. Alright, well, not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of this lighting. Let me tilt my computer screen. Aw, <laughs> thank you. I, I appreciate the compliment, Merrick. And here we go. Let's hit this guy with a sword. My favorite, my favorite person to watch play games like this is the grandmother who plays um, Skyrim. It's it's so funny just to hear her talk about like hit, hitting people with a sword and killing things and just sweetest old grandma voice. She's my favorite. Alright, well this cave looks kind of promising, doesn't it? Alright, well, I think I'm going to come back over here. Because I feel like this might be worth exploring. Actually, maybe. Because I 
don't quite trust this thing not to crash on me every 15 minutes. Um, actually, it's been re doing really well. It's only Black Lake where it really starts to crash. But that said, if I die stupidly, I don't really want to have to replay like that entire cutscene. Though it was kind of fun. <laughs> I know, she makes me giggle so much, that lady. She seems so nice. Wondering about. Let's walk. Across the bridge. Alright. Oh goodness. There's someone strange. A strange visage. Yes, that's how you pronounce you that. seeking the traitor, the bringer of disease. You are a fear speaking of life amidst his undead. Ah, well, you seem to be an interesting person. This woman appears odd. The air around her is cold, and her features are impossible to discern. She may actually be some sort of illusion. Ah, hi Dirk! Uh, what do I play other than Neverwinter Nights? Uh, I play a lot of stuff, um, usually a little older games because my computer doesn't run anything new. Um, <laughs> I, I use a laptop, it's, it's nothing fancy. Um, so I like, I like Dragon Age, I like, uh, I like Skyrim. Um, I play a lot of things on my Switch too, so... Um, Thanks to Effector, I'm playing Littlewood right now. <laughs> the older games are such fun. I'm not very good at platformers like you play, though. Uh, no hand-eye coordination or sense of timing. But I like to watch them. Okay. So, um... Recently, I've been playing Tangle Deep on the Switch, and I've been having a lot of fun with that. Though I don't play it like a roguelike like you're really supposed to, because, um, I suck and die really easily. <laughs> I think a lot, I think we all like older games. They're fun. Oh, I love I love the Ultima series, but I haven't played that. Um, oh, congratulations, Dirk! So you shot ahead of me after all. I knew you would. That's okay though. The walking corpses are a new addition, though the good people of the Horde have been silent for some time. I wonder if this lady is evil or just vaguely sinister. Let's find out. The false Hellmites. They forced the good away. But <laughs> now even they are not enough for Very Mister. good at pretending. And he creates a hasty army of dead. I don't think it counts as pretending when you're getting like sub 30 on Bucky O'Hare. I think that counts as being good at it. <laughs> All right. How can I get inside the hold? I will ask her. I am not here for your questions. I give this insight of my own accord. If that is inadequate, walk away. Dester fortifies here because his role is nearly played out. He is abandoned. He has no bridges left to burn. The dead are plentiful, so he surrounds himself with corpses. It won't be enough. His death is ordained and his life is forfeit. Well, I'm grateful. Will you help me I find him? I am not here to aid. I am not here at all. I speak so you know that none of <laughs> this can <laughs> be escaped. Okay. Well, so this seems like a villainous person who is gloating, to be honest with you. Desta has served his purpose and now tries to defy his fate. Neverwinter will learn to accept such things, even as you are allowed to take him. Remember well this lesson. I did not ask her her name. Probably for the best. She doesn't seem like the sort that would tell me. Well, I could go in this way, or I can go in... Or I could go investigate that cave. I feel like I want to see what's in the cave. I don't know why, but caves always strike me as worth looking into. Especially when undead hang about outside. This is probably not the paladin way to do things, if this is a secret entrance. But, well, we've, we've addressed this. I am, a, I am a paladin who is not wearing pants, among other things. Am I on Twitter? I am under, but not under Squid Monarchy. I use a different name for Twitter. Um, 
I just I couldn't get him on Twitch. Um, I go by Kalinara on on Twitter. He's <laughs> the Stephen Way. Yes, I think so. Hey, this guy looks like fun. Oh yeah, I should probably try to kill him. Well, if you want to waste a potion, that's fine. Oh, you're using swords again. Okay, hold on a sec. You're suicidal enough as it is. All right. Let's go with ranged. I like it when you stay back. I mean, still tend to die, but you know, it's a little easier that way. <laughs> yep. I should I should attach my Twitter to this. <laughs> Could never role play a paladin. I bet you could if you wanted to. Um, I am. I can play a paladin the proper way, but when it comes to games where they just give me so many things to look in and steal, I'm really bad about keeping to the ethics. Um, on tabletop, I can play a paladin pretty well, though. And I, I've played it through Shadows of Undertide, where they're a little stricter about giving you uh, chaotic points if you steal from everybody. But um, this game, there are no consequences, so I'm just, like, shameless. I like playing I like playing rogues and and sorcerers and wizards best usually though. <laughs> but part of the reason I'm playing a paladin is because I want to play some of the sequel modules people have made to Neverwinter Nights, the original campaign. And the ones that I'm thinking of, they recommend playing through with, with a paladin type character. And since I've got no reason not to, um, I figured I'd just make a paladin. <laughs> It's all the romance mods, so it'll be interesting to see what, how people s see the romance developing, and so on and so forth. Well, this looks kind of interesting. Well, there are stairs up very close by, but, oh, someone is sad. That looks like a child. Let's talk to this child. Hello, this child. What are you doing here? Hi there. Don't kill me. I'll do what you say. Just don't kill me. Okay, well, tell me your name. I'm Johnny. Me and Dad, we run the whole storehouse, but some cult took over a few weeks ago. People of the Eye? Well, that sounds familiar. They killed lots of Hellmites, but left us alive to work. Now the boss, Dester, he's raising their dead bodies everywhere. Now Dad is dead, and there's zombies and stuff. I just want to work. I want to sort the nails. You're like five. Why are five-year-olds working? Fucking need a fucking revolution in this place. Alright. Can you tell me why Dester is doing this? Why am I asking a five-year-old? Alright, fine. Let's just see what he says. Hello, kitty. Oh, sorry. Actually, I'm going to pause for a moment. My wobbly cat is going off to drink water. Well, no, she's okay. Alright. I just gotta keep an eye on her. She's on gabapentin, so she's just kind of, uh, really kind of hilariously wobbly. But, um, I just kind of got to make sure she doesn't keel over. All right. But I can see her from my computer, so I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know. He marches in saying something about being cast aside, saying he isn't getting any more help. Now he's raising the dead. I heard him yelling while I hid. He said he wouldn't be abandoned, said he had plans to prove himself. Uh, do you know anything about the cult? Again, he's five. They, they were here as spies, I think. Then one day, they just killed almost all the brothers, except Dumal. I don't know who they are. They worship something called the Old Ones. Maybe some northern cult, maybe? God, this kid's actually really effective. Ooh, wizard rogue player. Oh, arcane trickster. That that sounds like fun. In 5th edition. I I love arcane tricksters. I think you can play an arcane trickster in Neverwinter Nights 2, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, that's 3rd edition, of course, so I, I don't really know how well they compare. I play whatever my group <laughs> my group runs, to be honest with you. So if they run 5th edition, I'm like, all right, well, tell me what to roll. Um, if we play 3rd edition, I'm like, tell me what to roll. <laughs> I'm not, I'm like the opposite of a rule uh, of one of those rules lawyers, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, so who's Damal? Damal, he used to be in charge, or at least close to it. I'm sorry, I really didn't know a lot about how the hold was run. Dad kept up on all that. Honestly, of all of my informants, this kid it seems to be the most knowledgeable. I mean, look at this kid. He knows he knows everything. And he is a toddler. Yeah, you can come back here. What are you doing? Well, you're not going on the bed. You are you are incredibly hilariously wobbly. 
okay, if you want to sit there and stare into space for a while, I, I guess that's fine. You're like right next to the pillow. <sighs> Cats. Alright, anyway. <laughs> he was nice though. He still might be alive somewhere. I think he was kept alive so they could know how to act. Not sure though. Um, if work time calms you down, how about we do business? What the fuck? Oh, he's probably a shopkeeper. Let's find out. Simple business. Okay, I can do that. But it's gotta be fair or I'll get in trouble. If this blows over anyway. You know what? This is the first shopkeeper in the times of, of, uh, of Apocalypse who char who's charging me and I actually kind of agree with that. Okay, fine. <laughs> I like this kid. Uh, excuse me a second, I'm gonna go malign my cat a little. Alright. Alright, I'm back. You'll have, as I say every time I mention my cat, you'll have to imagine her. She is very cute. Effector's seen her, I think. Alright. Well. Nothing really. Wow, how does she have a better stock than like 90% of Neverwinter? I mean, really, look at this shit. This is, this is pretty good stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy a potion of heal. Do you have a bag? <gasps> you do! Well, that's mine now. Okay. I never turned down a bag of holding. Alright. Okay, I don't need any of these. Well, what's that one? Ah. As a child, Lady Il Arabeth de Tilmerand helped to save her home of Thunder Tree from the spells of a power-hungry Luskin wizard, doing so with the aid of this ring. Crafted by the elves of the Neverwinter Wood and given to her by the ranger Ansel Bloodshoulder, it was once a dear possession of hers, but no longer. On the road to becoming a paladin of Tyr, there have been times when she felt the need to break from her past, to shed certain parts of herself so that the light of the just god would find her unburdened. For whatever reason, Lady Arabeth no longer chooses to recognize this ring as hers, and is passed to other hands. Like its former owner, the silver band is graceful and resilient, elegant, but with a hidden strength. Spell resistance 16. Oh, that's not terrible. I'm not going to buy it, though. All right. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. Maybe one more potion of heal. There we go. All right. I've actually never seen Critical Role, though it looked really cool. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I'm taking it, I take it that you recommend it. Because I could go with a good recommendation or two. A friend of mine really, really likes it. He's been trying to get me to watch the Vox Machina on Amazon, and that's on my list to watch because I've heard really good things okay, about it. Okay. Highly recommend. Awesome. Awesome. I'll, t I'll keep that in mind. Alright. Let's see what's in the box. An amethyst. Well, my amethyst now. I'm just confiscating all this to give back to the temple later. Sure, that's, that's what I'm doing. We don't need to talk about other things. So, let's see what's, what's in the rest of the storm, though. Just to make sure that there aren't any, like, you know, zombies running around or you know, shit that we should probably take away from the Hellmites before they, uh, use it for evil. Hmm. I do have Amazon Prime, so it's on my list. Like I said, I've heard really, really good things, so I'm taking this as a second recommendation to watch it. Definitely. 
All right. Let's see what's in here. Now, oh, well, this is kind of like a practically a dungeon, really. So maybe there's someone in a cave somewhere. Well, there's a zombie lord. And a corpse. Where did my halfling go? Oh, he's he's busy killing a zombie. I'm busy looting a corpse. One of us is being a better paladin than the other, and it's not really me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, that's it. That works. That works. Oh hell, I might be losing Tommy, and I'm not sure how that works in this in this segment. So. I should probably go save him. All right. Actually, been to hit spacebar, but that's alright. Yeah. These things are a little too advanced for my weak ass. Turn them dead, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'll try to do that. I'll try to do that. I've heard that I would really like the guy with the guns, based on friends who know my taste in characters, so I will definitely keep an eye out for that. Or with the gun. Maybe it was one gun. I'm not sure. Well, I, I suppose I'll find out when I watch it. Alright, more looting of corpses. This is probably bad form. By probably, I mean almost definitely bad form. <laughs> Percy, that was the name I was told. Okay, well, I'm glad you say it's amazing, because that reinforces what I've heard already. All right. Goodness. Okay, all right, well, that's nothing to worry about. Oh, there's someone in here. Well, yeah. Can't hurt to talk to this person, right? Actually, you probably should rest as well. Not that I'm casting aspersions on someone shoved in the uh, cell of a cult's dungeon. But the last time I met someone shoved into a cell of a cult's dungeon, he was kind of evil himself. So, I think I'm just gonna save first. Yes. It annoys me that I can't do apostrophes in the saved ga names. Grog is their favorite, and I'll understand why. And Grog has a good backstory? That's good to know. Grog is a great name. Well met. Haha, <laughs> you know, I would have thought that killing the Hellmates of this place once would be enough. But no. Well, you seem evil. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're raising a ball over. Lucky thing I trapped myself in here. Yeah. Lucky, damn it! Uh, so you're one of Duster's men, then, not a trapped helmite? Duster's men. Duster's? Duster is a tool like everyone else. Like you. Some of us are just happy to serve. His time is done. He should have accepted the glorious role he was given. He only delays the inevitable. You, you will pay as well. And Neverwinter, the past comes to haunt, and you will be the dead one soon enough. Okay. Well, where is Duster? No more, no more truth to you. No more. You'll learn what you need as you are fed through it. Ha ha. All right. Well, you're still in a cage. Well met. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I use the other uh, dialogue options. All right. Who are your masters? All right. Well, I feel like I might want to. No can do. Oh, oh, the Percy backstory. Okay. That's good to know. And Grog's story is pretty cool, too. Oh, cool, cool. The locking mechanism on the door would allow you to open it or jam it closed pers permanently. Well, he seems like a dick. I mean, if I opened it, I could just kill him. But this seems kind of appropriate. Bye! I mean, he might have had good stuff. But on the other hand, yeah, I locked that guy in, too. Oh, this guy seems nice, though. Maybe. At least the kid vouched for him. Hello? Alright, well, let's go talk to him. Greetings. I am Dumal, Watch Knight of Helm. It is good to see a face of reason amidst the railings. 
He looks like he's been in prison for weeks, given barely enough food and water to survive. That's still very difficult. Good to know. Alright. I suppose being caged is better than torture. But at least during those sessions I could pass out if I tired of the rhetoric. Hmm. Who are you? How did you get here? The hold was my home, until it was infiltrated. A third of our number were spies. Betrayers. It was terrible. Well... They killed most of us, but we weren't even their target. It was just to support an attack somewhere else. A day ago, Dester, with, with scare quotes, returned and seemed to have a new plan. I thought I was dead for sure, but I think he's forgotten about me. What have you heard? Screams, mostly. I think something has gone wrong for these cult invaders. I think their agents in Neverwinter are being abandoned. Dester led them, but he's no longer needed for some reason. Next thing you know, he's raising undead all over. It's disgusting. Looks like he's trying to gather power for himself, but I doubt this old one cult will be impressed. Whether he's one of these people of the eye or not, they seem done with him. What do you know of this cult? Madness. These people of the eye are all fanatics, content to be a cog in their master's machine, even if it makes no sense. They attacked Neverwinter for no reason, or at least no reason that they've been told. The plague would never have lasted without them. They might be based out of the north, but I never heard of a people of the eye or their old ones before. Do you know anything specific? Sorry, no. I have not been in a position to ask more pointed questions, and thus there has not been forthcoming with information. I mean, fair enough. Uh, what do you know of the cult? Oh, I already asked that. Okay, I have to find Duster. I have to go. I'll come with you, but I wouldn't be any help. I'm too weak. If you have any other questions, I'll be here until the fighting stops. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> I was the play pain in the ass for you last night. I doubt it'll be any easier for me, but let's... We'll see how it goes. Okay. Alright. Duma was found in the cells. Prisoner... All right, nothing there that I didn't already know. Every once in a while, I, I'll miss a detail, and then reading the entry will turn out, oh, whoops, I probably should have remembered that, or retained that bit of information. <laughs> I do think, uh, I, I did already look in that one. It's useful to read the journal every once in a while. <laughs> Especially in fan mods, because, um, you never know what they'll put in there. <laughs> All right, immune to, immune to critical hits. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Eh. Oh, at least I brought him back. <laughs> All right. I do think Grog is one of my favorite names. Doesn't work for every character. Though actually it would be funny to have a really aristocratic paladin type and then have his name be Grog. I'm guessing that's not the case here. I just think it would be really funny. All right. Well... Oh, there's a treasure chest in here. Well, thankfully, my can opener's not dead yet, so... Oh, fucking hell! Okay, well, um... That serves me right. At least I saved. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna rush through this part, um... Where I talk to people. I, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, oh well. I'm not going to read through the dialogue again, because you've seen it, and, um, there's nothing, nothing really uh, new there. No well, <laughs> that did serve me right. Okay, so let's talk to Dumal again. Um, I'm going to just run through the dialogue options, as I said. I'm very repetitive Greetings. sometimes. Okay, yes, yes, where are you, yada yada yada, what have you heard, etc, what do you know, that stuff, what do you know about that, uh, what do you know about the cult, and I have to go, bye, alright, 
A Goliath Barbarian. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. I'm drawing some conclusions about what a Goliath it probably is, but that sounds like fun. I do like barbarian characters. They're usually very entertaining. Alright, well, I gotta kill this guy again, but it's not like you're, um, that difficult. Okay. Time to spam lockdown, lockdown. <laughs> ah, knockdown is a wonderful thing. Alright. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, he's got nasty damage reduction. I missed him casting or uh, taking a fucking. Game. Yeah, well, twenty nine points remaining. 14 points remaining. I love I love when people describe things as Goliath though, because you know exactly like you get this perfect mental image in your head. And it's usually accurate. We should use that more often. Alright, well, now I'm going to go back in here <laughs> and try not to die by way of trap that Tommy probably won't open. I am at least going to save first. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's play open the box. <laughs> uh, no can do. Ah, fuck it. Alright, well, this is going to take a couple of attempts, I suspect. <gasps> If Tommy wasn't standing right there, that would have worked perfectly. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, well, note to self. Don't bring the halfling when opening the box. Halfling dies of fire. That's kind of inconvenient for me. No can do. Alright, well, Tommy, why don't you come over here? Thank you. Now I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to open the box. Ah! And I'm going to die again. Alright, we're going to try this again. <laughs> I'm going to see what's in this fucking box. Eventually. So, uh, guys, if you want to take bets as to how many attempts this is going to take, you are welcome to. I will cheer for you. There will be no prize when you win. No can do. Alright. Aside from the amusement factor of watching me die over and over again. Because apparently having mighty uh, sinuous thighs does not uh, does not make me good at opening chests. <laughs> How did I get both of you fuckers? All right, come on. <laughs> three gold in the box. Yes, yes, it will be three gold in the box. But yet, at the same time, I still have to know for sure. It will be three gold in the box. No it will absolutely be three gold in the box. After all that. And I bet there, I bet the other chest and the other thing is going to be like this again. So um, I'm going to do it again. Dokey. Stay where you, stay where you are, you fucking moron. Stay. Stop dokey, it. Dokey. <sighs> I really don't want to waste a spell on that, but I might have to. I managed it once, and only Tommy survived. I might do that again, if it works. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop doing this. I really do. I think... Do I have a reflex... Oh, because I'm rolling things like four. <laughs> you don't remember having any problems with that? Probably not. No can do. Alright. Let's see. Look, we all have our talents, and clearly mine, uh, mine do not amount to opening traps. Alright, do I have something that gives me reflex, uh, things in, in my pile of crap? I can never remember if aid or bless helps with that sort of thing. What do you-
you doing? I doubt spell resistance would help with that. All right. Well, let's try bless. Let's see if bless will do anything. If I have any bless, I might not. Did I run out of bless? I might have run out of bless. You know, let's let's go for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, all right. Gonna keep going. Watch me die many, many times to open a box that has nothing in it. No can do. <laughs> I really gotta stop doing this. This is not this is not helping anybody. <laughs> yeah, fine, fuck it. That works. All right, I gotta go fetch my henchman back again. All right, well, I'm here. So, henchman is probably down this way. Why he's... He you know, fuck it, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Hi, Tommy. It was so strange, you know? There was this bright tunnel. And my mom was <laughs> And then it was well, like... I'm glad. <laughs> not yet stupid. And I was back here. Weird, huh? So, do you need my help again? Yes. Considering how often I get this fucking halfling killed, I am still kind of amazed that he keeps working for me. It's like, there is a point after death number, um, five that you'd think he'd be like, you know what? You can hire a different rogue. It's fine. I'm not doing this anymore. But no, no, he's still, I think he's suicidal. Where is he? Uh, no can do. You can't open the chest either? Really? All f uh. 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 What the? My weapon does nothing! My voice is ridiculous. Alright. Are you like matched up with level with me or anything? No, me you seem to be. Wow. Alright. Yeah, I do have a contract he's bound. But, like, it shouldn't... It's not really supposed to be, like, servitude until death, I think. I don't know. Maybe it is. Alright. Uh, I got one option. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Alright. Oh, actually, hey, I got two spells this time. Okay. Well, prediction from alignment, endure elements. You know, that that might have been useful two seconds ago. Uh, let's see how this works. That's a blessed weapon. What the fuck's the difference? Alright. Mm. Plus one attack bonus and... And what's this one? Huh. Well, why am I doing it? Why am I doing one and not... Okay. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go with this. Alright. And, um... This might have been useful earlier. What does Bless do? What does Bless do? Let's find out. Plus one of, to will saves. Well, that's good. Fear's not really an issue, but, you know... Just one bonus. Ah, that's that would be useful. All right. Well, let's see. It's a shame you can't cast cast grace on somebody else. Maybe you can. Well, if it reads up to ten deaths, he's passed that a long time ago. You really should have seen the shit I'd, I've done to this poor halfling. All right. So let's see if blessed weapon will do anything. Alright, well. Okay, oh, he got oh, it that time. Done. Why didn't that work before? I don't. Scarab of Protection plus one. <laughs> yes, yes. Dirk, 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 Dirk knows. He's seen me kill him more than that, and Dirk himself has done it too, I think. Alright, well, you know, that's, that's not complete. It's not three gold. <laughs> Alright, well. Hey, my sword's glowing now. That's kind of cool. All right, what's over here? There's a corpse. Not a chest. Too bad. I wanted to die to another chest. All right, well, all things considered, I lived once. That's that's fine. All right, I don't see anything else in here worth stealing. It's not like they're using it anymore. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's that's the other way around. Yeah, okay. Hi. Ten physical, five divine, and three sonic. Okay, that's kind of cool. I, I like the blessed weapon. Remind me to do that more often. <laughs> worth it. I think it's worth it. Tommy doesn't need to live. Honestly, if it weren't for the fact that I needed him to open shit, I'd probably just leave him back at the at the castle, but, you know. Kind of need him to open shit. Hi. Hello, Johnny. How are you again? I met them all. Oh, there's a crate. Yeah, we've probably looked in the crate before. Okay. <laughs> maybe it means, maybe the contract reads up to 100 deaths, and when you hit 100... Are you doing okay over there, cat? I guess so. Gabapentin cats. Alright, well. You know, this is a swanky place for a monastery. Like, whatever happened to the old cult cots and shit? Antidote. Oh, there are some people there. Let's go kill those people. Hi. The more people I kill now, the fewer death sure can, can get as reinforcements, I think. Yeah, die, yeah. I don't know why I find death sure so hard to say, but it is... <laughs> well, that didn't take long. My favorite thing is how the critical hits. Uh, if you kill someone with a critical hit, they explode. It's like that is that never ceases to amuse me. What do you have? I have more money. I got a lot of money. Don't know what to do with my money. But I have two bags of holding now. Rescue. Well, different kind of rescue, but the title works still. All right. Is on. Maybe one of you will surrender and I can get more deep information from you. Die on the battle is on. Why can't I reach the target? Probably fucking door shenanigans. Life is cheap. <laughs> That would have been funny if it had a copper necklace in it. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 well. Let's see what's in here. I don't think I have to look for any quest items this time. Oh, hey, more of you people. I'll have you your life. Life. <laughs> Don't kill my halfling. Only I'm allowed to kill my halfling. Taste the pain. I do it so well, too. doing what are you doing okay all right let's go get that Sorry about that. What remains? What remains? I think in the 
in the expansions, they actually leave corpses, not 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 just remains. So things get considerably messier when you do a whole lot of mass murder. Justified mass murder, I think, in this case, but you know. Oh, skeleton mages. Well, let's see how this works first with a turn on dead. Not very well, apparently. Alright, well. Try this again. Okay. I'll kill you. You'll see. Okay, yes, that's a good place to rest, Ted. The battle is on. The battle is on. Oh. Okay, well, there's some stairs up, so I think I gotta go looting through the rest of the place first. For God's sake, yes. Alright, stop trying to kill my halfling. Only I'm allowed to kill my halfling. I said that before, I'll say it again. Hey. Hey. One second. Here we go. When I trap you under blankets and then you can't escape. There we go. Alright. I've captured a cat. This might make playing a little bit interesting, so uh, if you see me do some very weird clicking, I I have an excuse for once. Here comes Halfling Death! My god, there are a lot of dead dead things in here. Stop killing him! Why am I not knocking you down? Let's knock you down. There we go. That's better. Oh shit. It's back. Come here. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Alright, anything to loot? I mean, it's it's skeletons and zombies, so probably not. I don't know why, but those sorts never seem to have a whole lot in their pockets. Oh, you look like a dick. Let's, let's kill you. That guy looks like a dick, too. Oh, well, that happened. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Let's kill you. Feeling that? All right. Well, those are the stairs up, so I'm going to go everywhere but the stairs up because I'm like that. Unless there's another set of stairs up, and then I will be torn and mixed up, and I won't know what to do. This 
a shame you can't give stuff to your henchmen in this version, in this uh, expansion set. Oh, that's the main entrance. Oh, well. Let's see what happens if I go out at. The open palm of the stone pedestal has a small recessed area at the center, about the size of a large gem. There's a message, or a faint inscription. Place in my hand the message I have made clear, and I shall summon the Watcher's armor, the protectors. Place in the hand the message you've made clear. Do I have a gem? Of some kind that would work. I have a diamond. That's kind of clear, right? Does it work? Nah. Too bad. I don't think I have anything else that would suit. The message you've made clear. This is where having some knowledge of Helm would probably be helpful, because I'm wondering if if I find the right thing, if I can't get these little suits of armor to, gar to start killing my enemies here. On the other hand, I think there'd be less XP for me, which is the other reason I'm going out here. Because, uh, you know, there are things to kill. And I can do it. But I'm running out of... I probably should have rested because I'm running out of... Turn on dead. Oh, hey! Who, who the fuck are you? You seem like a dick. Let's, uh, let's dance. Oh, crap. There's a mage. I dig, I dig the voice, fella. I dig the voice. Okay. Do you mind? I was busy, you fucker. Great. Now my, my halfling's gonna die again. I mean, it's not like I can't go get him, but still, it's the principle of the thing. Okay, there goes one. Alright. That was fun. Oh, he's a monk. Knockdown's not gonna work very well on him, as I recall. Okay, there we go. So, let's, uh, let's go save Tommy from a mage. Eh, if I can. Might not be able to. Did you run out of spells, dude? Cause, uh... Okay, there we go. I actually managed to keep my fucking uh, halfling alive. Cheer for me. Is there a way in game to check enemy alignments? Well, uh, going by actual lore, paladins should be able to cast detect evil, but noticeably none of us can, or else death there would have probably been <laughs> been identified before now. Um, so not that I know of. You just kind of have to guess and check. I still can't believe they had like fucking it. Cultists of Cyric. Cyric. And Smite Evil didn't work on him. It's like, really? You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I don't know all of Forgotten Realms lore, certainly, but I know who fucking Cyric is. Here's a tip. It's very hard to uh, worship Cyric. Side entrance, so well. What's in here? Oh, well, I'll have fun going and exploring that in a bit, but first... I like that there, are like, there seem to be 15 billion different side entrances into this place. That's kind of cool. I guess because it's supposed to be an actual functional location, and most functional locations have more than one entrance. Alright, well, that's how I came in. That's good to know. No empty spots on the map. That makes me happy. Now let's go wreak some havoc. Hey. You're drugged. You're drugged all wobbly. Yep, yes you are. Yes you are. Okay.
Hmm. Well, have fun. I hope you find something really tasty. I had something pretty good for dinner. I'm not sure what the heck it was. Something with chicken and rice, though, so it's quite good. Well, hello. All right, well, time to kill this guy. Before he does some sort of fucked up level drain on me. No! There we go. Okay, let's kill that guy. Anything to loot? barrel. There's usually good stuff in a barrel. Oh, look at all my potions. I really need to organize my inventory. Alright. Oh. What can Tommy do for you? <laughs> you know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. I suppose there's not really any reason why Tommy would have hung around in friggin' Helm's Hold. Yep, that's because I keep killing him off. Yeah, use the same save. No reason not to. Oh, fucking ghouls. I do not like fucking ghouls. I also don't like ghouls with the adjective fucking. That came out a little longer than I thought. Okay, let's see. Let's knock this sucker down. Yeah. Priests are annoying. My kill priority is always priest and mage than other people. I think usually, usually henchmen first because, you know, I don't like getting swarmed, but... necklace. I just, well, I guess I could take it down to the kid and sell it there. I hadn't really thought about that. Hmm. Okay. All right. How are you doing, babe? You doing okay? Still wobbly? You must still be wobbly because you're actually living... <laughs> When I put a description for this video, I will have to warn of random interjections and baby talk to my cat. Hardly the first time. Oh, there's an altar and a Kayahinon of the Void. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that shit right. Kayahinon. I have never heard of that word. I mean, I probably heard of this word the first time I played this game, but that was a long, long time ago and I do not have not retained the definition. I probably should sell my cure light wounds, I think. Except for that one time fighting that monk that tried to ping you to death one hit point at a time. It's really not been useful. I own a bar now, though. Oh, Black Grimoire. What does this say? This aged text feels cold to the touch, and your fingers are numb after handling it. Within its tainted pages, are revealed the methods by which a person can summon forth the most heinous of creatures. Interestingly, there are also instructions on how to banish evil once summoned, should it be proved to be too troublesome for the caster to deal with. This book would have to be used in very controlled circumstances, lest it have no effect, or worse, a, an uncontrolled one. Merely having it in one's possession will allow the use of a properly prepared altar. Oh, well, I feel like I have a good idea of what to do with this fucker. So, let's uh, save before I fuck this up. Actually, I'm going to save it. This seems like a good title. <laughs> Hi, Jinx. Hi, Jinx. Yes. 
All right. Well, that looks like an altar, and that looks like a Kaohanon of the Void. So let's talk to him before I do something drastic. What do you have to say? Kaohanon of the Void bids you welcome. You need not fear me, for I am bound well and good. You are not those who summoned me. Perhaps, perhaps you would finish the ritual that they have let lapse? Uh, what ritual, infernal creature? Is that an insult or not? Because, I mean, technically, if he's a demon, I guess he does count as infernal, right? A simple matter. Well within your capability. You are far superior to those who brought me here. Flattery. We'll get you everywhere. You see, they have let their petty squabbles interfere with more important concerns. They leave my summoning unfinished. What do you look like? Radiates evil. So much that you feel sick looking at it. Well, it does look pretty evil. Okay. I was to crush the guardian spirit of this place. I have done so. For this, I was promised release. If you are willing, there's a book in the s of ritual in the study to the south. A black grimoire. Complete the ceremony, and I shall be free. I will think about it, if you must. But actions lead to glory far more often than mere thoughts. All right. Well, let's see. I'm obviously not going to do that, but I wonder if I could do the reverse. There's an altar. Complete the ritual. Banish the demon. Do nothing. Banish the demon. Wretch! Speck! You will pay in the end! Your future is marked! You will suffer! Suffer! Okay. He seems nice. Yeah, I thought so too. I'm sure... I'm sure if we meet again, it won't go badly at all. Alright. <laughs> Well, is there anything else I can do? Can I restore the guardian spirit? I probably not. I feel like there was something you could do in the front. But maybe maybe I did not I'm not thorough enough to have gotten the gotten the way to do that. Maybe, maybe. I'm not trying to look it up at all. Not at all. Why would you think that? That's an interesting thought. Um, I don't like leaving something undone. Not that I have remotely, uh, you know, checked. You didn't banish him in the name of loot? Don't tell the order? Fair enough, I won't tell. I won't tell. Did you get anything from him? Because if you did, that's kind of cool. Alright, so there's a corpse. Is that where I'm supposed to... I thought I looted him, but let's let's find out. Oh, I don't seem to have an... Oh, I do have an etched gem. Okay. I did get it. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, you get stuff? Anything good? I'm not going to replay it to do to not do it. I'm just curious. Okay, there we go. Well, that was fun. 50 X XP. I mean, I've already killed everything on this level as far as I know, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right. Well. Kill you. Would have been nice see. if they left his stuff behind when you banished him. But sometimes, sometimes you just got to do the right thing for a little reward. Or, you know, you just do what you're going to do anyway. Hey, stop it. Get over here, you little fucker. Stop killing my halfling. Thank you. All right. Oh. Well, hey, cool, cool. <laughs> I, I do actually want the XP here if I can possibly get it. Hey, I got the XP anyway. Huh. Cool.
cool. Hi. Can I talk to you? Alright, well, you missed the skeleton over in the corner, but I don't particularly like the Cursed Warrior, so I'm gonna take it. Hi. Oh, you're a person with a with a picture. You look like the other guy. False Helmite Elite. Oh well. Okay. So what do I get from you? Do I get anything from you? You seem like the sort of person I get something from. Oh, there's a trapped bookshelf. Oh. What's in the bookshelf? Book of Helm. Despite its size, this well-maintained tome is exceptionally light. The pages also seem to have a strange, almost warning glow. Inside is revealed the methods by which the guardian spirit of Helm's hold may be restored, should an evil entity have displaced it, though the taint must first be banished by other means. Simply having this book in one's backpack will allow the use of a properly prepared altar. Well. Darn, if I'd gone here first, I might have had a different option. Well, that's a shame. Stabbing intensifies. Hi, obsessive! You know, I am kind of curious to see what would happen if I took that thing in there. Alright, well, I'm going to save this as alternate route, and I'm going to go wreak some havoc. I want to see what happens if I do it the other way. Now, hijinks. <laughs> Stabbing intensifies. Nice. Did I already do that? I think maybe I did not. Okay. So there's one here, and I know there's one over up in the corner, so I want to see what happens there. I could do option three, which is uh, what what you did, Dirk, and find out what the heck this guy's holding. But I don't. I suppose I won't cheat that much. I just want to see what happens if I take the different book into Helm's Hold. All right, let's see. Let's kill this asshole. The battle is on. Really? Fine. Here comes Halfling. I'm not very good with a bow. There we go. There's a skeleton priest. Hello, sir. How are you? Good night. Oh, you're interesting. I love that voice, though. <laughs> okay. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Nothing more fun than knockdown. Stick spamming knockdown. You know, for for a warrior type, you you really don't seem to have much by way of discipline. Ah oh, shit! Oh, because you're a cleric. That's why. Well, that's okay. There we go. Alright, so that's the book I wanted to see what happens if I take that one to the altar. Just to avoid temptation, I might leave this book behind. Oh, I could carry both books, I guess. Let's see what happens. How is the favorite pantsless paladin doing today? He's doing well! He got to witness the creation of a cure in which nothing could possibly go wrong. As a spoiler, something went wrong. 
and the fellow, who is kind of a jackass anyway, up and stole the cure. Now, unfortunately, the elf that I want to make my threesome partner with his girlfriend m may have helped him do it. Mm, such a shame. I think the guy's gonna turn out to be innocent, though. And surely we can make the authorities see that he is innocent and, you know, I mean, stupid. And maybe there should be a penalty for being stupid, but you know, I'm sure that they, we can figure out a solution that works for everybody. Maybe he can work off his sentence. Ah, the Kyahanan of the Void. Kyahanan of the Void, big you welcome. You need not fear me, for I am bound well and good. I read this before, so I'm not going to read it again. Sorry, if you missed it. A ritual... Uh, think about it. Alright. Now let's see if having the new book allows me different options. I'm gonna do nothing. Now what happens if I get rid of the other book? Well, I guess I could just drop it. Let's drop the book. Drop the black... black the black grimoire. Hi. Okay. Let's see what happens. I do have a proper tome, don't I? Oh, it's the other altar, I bet. Okay, well. Alright, well, let's pick that back up and banish that guy again. Fuck that guy. Okay. Actually, maybe... You've made me morbidly curious, Dirk. I want to see what happens if I if I complete the ritual. Alright. I didn't get an alignment knock. Probably should have. Alright. Now die. What? Oh. Well. That didn't work very well, did it? Well now, that's uh that's interesting. You get a lot <laughs> get a lot more uh XP from that. Alright, well since I didn't get to kill it, I'm gonna reload. Hi, hello. Okay, banish the demon. Bye! Oh! That's interesting. I didn't think I got that much last time. I must have completely misunderstood. No empty. Waiting the return. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so... I guess I needed the other book to get the full points. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, actually. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Dropping my fucking uh, mouse all over the place. Here we go. Summon the guardian spirit of home. Let's do this shit. I am returned to preserve the heart of this place. The demon who suppressed me is vanished, and I am free. You have done as your conscience commanded, and have allowed the will of Helm to return. Your motives are pure. Mm. To you I grant something extra. An enchanted ring, an expertly craft bow, the aid of Helm, or my insight into what comes. Huh. I do get a reward. I wonder what reward I want. Magic item, a weapon, an insight into events. I mean, I've got, I've got a weapon, and a bow doesn't help me any. The aid of helm or my insight. I think I'll ask for the insight. You seek guidance. Ask and I shall answer. Where's my enemy? A broad question. Desther is near and easily found. Those behind him are shrouded, unknowable in the strangeness. I see layers of evil. 
seated with hate. But the foundation is unknown. I can't see the beginning, but I fear what may come. So who is his master? Fear, anger, desire. He's a slave to each of these. The master that commanded him is no longer his master. Dester is abandoned. His usefulness is at an end. Now he defies fate. The power he tampers with is strange. It is ancient, and I cannot see the hand that moves it. Why was Neverwinter attacked? The plague became an attack only after being unleashed. Duster did not start it, but he did spread it and delayed the cure. The wailing attacked the spirit, rotting the body around the soul. The essence of the victim fell away, along with the hope of others. The fabric did not disappear. Someone or something has benefited from what was lost. The plague has fed its master. I have no true answer as to why. I cannot see. That worries me. It worries me. Uh, okay, how do I bring peace to the world? <laughs> I've seen many a road paved with such dreams. Unfortunately, not many travelers end up where they intended. That said, I imagine destroying whatever threatens Neverwinter will bring a d great deal more peace than exists currently. I mean, fair. In the global sense, bringing peace means either appeasing the needs of, or more likely, destroying everyone. That's a, that's a trifle more cynic, cynical for, of this game than I was expecting. <laughs> you are sleeping in the weirdest fucking position, cat. I suppose that's my fault. Are you at least comfortable? Uh, I could probably help with that. Poor baby. Okay. If I thought you were capable of this, the fight ahead of you would be altogether different and likely against me. Hmm. Will you answer more questions? I cannot. Such sights are tiring. I hope that this has proved valuable. There's little else I can do. Okay. But such is your purity that you will receive a further boon. Except that's not likely. Lightly, for you have received a true blessing. I must go elsewhere and fortify against the coming darkness. Go forth and do what must be done. Oh, I got a parry up to wisdom. Neat. Okay, well then. Well then. All right. Now, as I recall, there was one thing I was going to do, and I didn't do it because I hadn't gotten to it yet. Well, I got two extra points for that, huh? I'll take it. I'm quite happy. All right, so I'm looking for an etched gem that I might or might not have in my possession already. There it is. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, this gem is inscribed with the symbol of Helm and the image of his fist, sweeping his enemies aside. You also see a pedestal that this gem is supposed to sit upon, possibly near the entrance to the Helmshold Keep. You are not sure how so much detail could be held within one gem. Perhaps it is merely a focus, magically causing the images to form in your mind. Hmm, could be, could be. Hard to tell, hard to tell. All right, well. I have now looted the shit out of this level of the keep. Let's go and wreak some havoc and hopefully bitch slap the hell out of out of a renegade cleric. Of Helm! I mean, you know, as much as I think certain people were pretty stupid, it does say something that, like, these spies could infiltrate an entire temple of Helm and, uh... And no one figured out that they were spies. By your command, we go to fight the enemies of Helm. I just feel like blaming one person be for being stupid when everyone is being stupid is pretty, uh, pretty cold, you know? Not that this is relevant to anything that's going to happen in the near future, of course. Of course. Oh no, I know who that is. Fenthic, poor Fenthic. You were so here dumb. I am. The fool. My stay here with the dead has taught me more in a few hours than than I deserve. Ah, <sighs> poor guy. Poor stupid guy. Fenthic is utterly broken, looking though his world has been shattered. He barely acknowledges his surroundings. Uh, 
You had to fight those armors yesterday? It was painful. Oh, well, that's why I went through the back. Well, I didn't, that wasn't why, because I didn't remember about them, but. It does. It's really cool that it alter offers alternate solutions. There are quite a few ways to do things on, in this game. Most of them kind of amount to the same thing in the end, but you know, different flavor, different fun. All right. Oh, poor Fenthic. I always feel bad for Pen Fenthic. Traitor, Dester. I helped him and then followed, hoping his deception was a mistake. I thought he would. He will return, won't he? Ah, poor kid. Where's he gone? He'll be back. He couldn't lie. How could he lie? After all this time, when people had their doubts, I calmed their fears. The blessing is a gift, I said. This man cares, I said. I killed them. I killed them all by believing in him. Oh, poor stupid Fenthic. Unless, unless I help him and he comes back. If he comes back, then I was right. I helped them. He deceived us, betrayed us. But if I help him and he returns from Neverwinter, I helped them. Ah, oh, poor stupid guy. It's, it's not his fault. He should be able, you should be able to trust people. Do you know who he is working for? I don't know. He's no Helmite. The true brethren of Helmite are dead, murdered, just to provide him with a false identity when he came to Neverwinter. He said he is one of the people of the Eye, a cult following the old ones. But I can't tell anything else from his ranting. It's like he's a different person. He has to be. What are these old ones? He won't say. He's fanatical, raving, like he wants his blasphemies to wash out the Helmite words he let me believe. Whatever these old ones are, they have abandoned him. He screams that he deserves protection, but none is coming. Whatever his purpose was, it's over now. Let's go back to previous questions. I will say whatever you want. I have hurt so many. I made everyone trust him. I believed in him. I let this happen. Alright. Do you know who he's working for? I think I asked this. Yeah, I did. Oops. Alright. Has he shed any light on the purpose of the people of the eye? He rants about everything, but I can't make sense of it. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, uh, why didn't he want us to have the cure? The plague. He gloated he was sent to Neverwinter to spread it. His masters wanted it to last as long as possible. They wanted us all to die. So, he spread the pl plague? How? The, the blessings! The blessings! Tainted, foul, each blessing that he and his false helmites gave was tainted. That was the clever thing about the Black Light District. Um... The reason why the nobles weren't getting sick is they told us that actually a few times. There are no temples in the Black Light District, so there was no one to spread the plague. He could have poisoned the harbors, the whole water supply, but the blessings raised false hope, so people would be even more desperate when they finally did get the plague. Such cruelty, carefully designed to destroy our wills, and I trusted him, made other people trust him. Their deaths are on my hands, too. Okay, so what initially caused it? I don't know. Dester was only sent after the plague started. Whoever his masters are, I don't think they were prepared at the time. Dester just says he was supposed to prolong it, to stop our cures. There's something about the way it kills people, something they wanted to last as long as possible. All those people, and I let him do it. I made people trust him. Okay, back to previous questions. Where is he now? Somewhere inside, trying to raise undead to fortify this place. He has few followers left, and no more are coming. He claims he's being cast aside. He runs like a madman, murderous, heretical. I don't know this Dester. How could he have hidden it from me? Okay, so I must find Dester. What do you intend to do? I, I don't know. I can't go back. Not yet. You you can find him. Find Dester. Make him recant. Make him say he didn't betray us. Make him say I didn't let people die because of him. We'll let a court decide that or a mob. Uh, let's go. Arabeth is waiting for you. Waiting for an explanation. No, I can't go. I can't face my love. My Arabeth. Leave me. I'll wait for the guards, I swear. But I can't see her. I can't. Aw, oh, hell. Poor guy. I do feel bad for him. I mean, because, yeah, he was stupid and trusting the asshole, of course. His reasons for following Dester are innocent but selfish. It may have cost all Neverwinter dearly. You know, I, I think that's a mischaracter. I mean, him trusting him to begin with, yes. But just following him here, I don't think, did any additional harm to Neverwinter. Uh, he needed Dester to prove himself. Okay. Yeah. Rather than accept this burden, he must accept his role in this crime. Yeah. He no longer cares about his fate, though it is certain that the people of Neverwinter would, will. And their vengeance will not separate the two. I don't 
don't know. I still, I mean, I can't. In that last ritual, it does, doesn't it, Obsessive? It's just so hard. I mean, yes, Fenthic was dumb. Dester couldn't have been more obviously evil if he didn't have a neon sign. But it's like the plague was going on. There were, and that they were working them to the bone trying to fix it. And, you know. And it's not like I didn't spend the entire ritual trying to tell people, hey, you know, he's letting the other guy in here. Maybe we should do something about this. And every single other person was like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. So I feel like it's not really fair to blame Fenthic entirely. And I, I will advocate for Fenthic because I, th I think that he doesn't deserve this shit. Consequences. Okay, yeah, maybe a demotion, some kind of community service thing. I yeah, I know, I know. All so right, well, I already did that. that. All right, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to meet mean to him. What's the point of being mean to the poor guy? It's just like, uh, it's awful. And I think that threesome that Steven was hoping for with Arabeth and, Fe Arabeth and Fenthic wasn't, isn't going to happen, I think. Yeah, I know, let him off with a warning. I don't know. It's just awful. So sad. Anyway, anyway. Back, t back to killing Dester. That will at least be fun. Poor guy. Every time. Every time. Alright. Well. It's a shame that the poor guy didn't have the wherewithal to come join us and help. Maybe that could have... Eh, probably not, though. Okay, uh, actually, hold on. Oh good, a trap chest. That means I can try to open it 15 times and die 15 times. That seems to amuse folks. <laughs> All right, get over here. Not with that attitude, it's not gonna happen. You're right, you're right. Let's be optimistic, let's be optimistic. Surely we can advocate for the poor guy. Surely that's, that's something that we can do. It ought to be, we're saving the fucking city, right? Unless you're talking about me opening the chest, in which case, no, that's gonna, that's gonna kill me and it's gonna be hilarious. Here comes death. That's the hard part, I'm not watching the ch chat close enough to see what folks are replying to all the time. <laughs> I'm still working on that end of things. Oh boy, alright. Well... <laughs> To be fair, though, um, he might be able to disarm it if if we take the the uh, the twenty. Yeah, maybe not. I think that might be part of the problem. I keep going to these chests when battle's done. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna try this one more time so I don't kill off time, Tommy. That never is not funny to me. Poor Tommy. I'm so mean to him. Alright, well, why don't you stand over here, where you are hopefully out of the way, while I die to the trap. Okay, over and okay. over again. No! That part of staying out of the way means stay out of the way, you fucking... I kill you enough! Come on! Alright, you stay here. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna open this thing. Hey, and I lived! And so did he. Okay, so now you can follow me. Now if you wanna open it. Okay, okay. Oh, cool. Sweetheart, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Why are you trying to... What the fuck? Why are you trying to attack the chest? Okay, okay. What? I guess it's probably too high for you to open it, huh? Alright, well, I'm gonna break the chest the old-fashioned way. Alright. Oh. Well, this looks interesting. It's light armor, though. Not useful for me, necessarily, but I like the cleavage. Alright, well, let's rest. 
You cannot rest while there are enemies nearby. Oh, come on. I can rest. I, let me rest. Rest. Okay. <laughs> you know, I really should give shout outs to people. Everyone, please follow the people in my chat. They're all really great. Dark, Dirk Loves Loot is also playing Neverwinter Nights. He's a little farther ahead of me and is doing a fantastic job. Obsessive Repulsive plays retro games and is very awesome. Um, let's see. Merrick plays, does uh, speed runs of Bucky O'Hare, and they're really, really cool to watch. It's gotten so fast. And let's see. That's Merrick plays, by the way. And Effector of Change is like the best cozy streamer in the whole bunch. And you should follow all of them, except Obsessive Repulsive, who doesn't like to be followed, which means you should totally follow him because it will annoy him. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get better at shouting people out. I really am. Because I like shouting people out. Plunge says he'll show me a, a bot that I can do it with later. I just got to remember to ask him. Aw, <laughs> should not follow me. Well, I would not, I would not uh, argue with being followed twice as much were that possible, but they should at least keep an eye on you and watch your streams, however they do that, because your streams are very entertaining. Oh, hell. Time to kill that guy. Why am I not turning undead? Oh, yes, let's turn undead. Hi. How about you die? Actually, come to think about it, why am I not bless weaponing my weapon? The battle is on! Right ahead that. Hi. There we go. Alright. Now I think I don't need concentration for this right now. There we go. Here comes Hoffling Dead. All right. Are you going to be playing tonight, Obsessive? So I think you still owe us a Dragon Warrior playthrough, yeah? Okay. Your city dies because of me. The cure will not be yours. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now let's kill that guy. Let's break the pentacle. Okay, so now let's kill him. Hi. Alright, well I guess maybe I'm gonna have to kill these other things, because death there is fucking tough. Okay. So now let's get back to Dester and see what the hell I can do against him. Unless he va vanished on me, which he might well have. Fucker. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. You're allowed to dip. <laughs> uh, just sleep for you? Ah, uh, Dragon War to Warrior tomorrow, that'll be good. And the sampler on Saturday. Ugh, yes, this, this fight is not fun. And I lost my fucking halfling. I might go get him, actually, um, even though it's not probably not really kosher to use this, this stone in that way. Oh, fuck. Or maybe I'm going to die. That might happen, too. Ah, no, no. 
Hi. Oh no, can't teleport me. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> okay. Well, um. How are you not. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's just keep knocking you down then. Well, that's fun. When in doubt, knock him down. When in doubt, spam knock down. Ugh. Come on, come on. Barely injured, hey, that's pretty good. Oh, fuck. This is too much. You know, I forgot. I forgot I had this, but I uh, bought something for just this occasion. I hope I get Tommy again. <laughs> I hope he didn't die for good. That would make me sad. All right. Um, let's get rid of that. And let's get that. All right. Actually, let's get that. <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> Knockdown is so is such a cheap skill. I wonder what I need for improved knockdown. Because to test out one of the future uh, modules I'm going to play, because I needed to make sure, uh, you know, um, that when I found it on an adult module list that it was an adult adult to the point where I can't play it on Twitch. Um, I couldn't qualify for improved knockdown. I'm not sure what I need to do that. The module in question is a little borderline, I have to admit, but, um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Nice. God, you are. S Why is he so strong, this guy? Fucking old ones, man. If I fl fled to the other floor, could I use the to stone of recall then? Probably not. Ah! Yep, I got this one. Got one more of these. I did not buy very many of them, though. There we go. There we go. You know what? We're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. We are going to do this the, uh, Maldanin's fucking apprentice way. Which just fucking spam it. Which I recorded was doing already, but we're gonna- we're gonna cheap spam it. We are gonna pause, queue up three of them, and then just keep fucking doing it. Ah! Ow. Alright, there we go. Pause. Kill more. This might take a while, but you ain't you ain't getting shots off at me again. There's probably a better way to do this, a more skilled way to do this. Notably, not my way of doing it. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh I paused it again, of course. Why not? There we go. I'd like- <laughs> Oh, there you go. Summon creature scrolls. Those are great. Unfortunately, without use magical device, I can't do a whole lot with summon creature scrolls with this particular character. I forget how I did it last time. I think I had- I was playing a rogue, so that was a bitch and a half. I remember I did- I did eventually manage, but it took me like 15 tries. Where's this? I am beaten. There is no point in continuing this fight. You, you will want me alive anyway. Will I? <laughs> You're barely injured. What kind of fucking coward are you? All right. Is there any anything to loot behind him? Because I'm kind of curious about that now. I don't think so. But real quick. I'm gonna assume Tommy got resurrected the way he usually does. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna just leave him there. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna let him sweat a little bit.
Yes, yes. Did you get sub 30 yet? I I know you were close last time I saw. You're going to get it eventually. Oh, armor. Should I come? Put that in there. Put that in there. And when I say eventually, I don't mean like in 100 years. I think you're going to get that like next time you play. If you haven't already. And you might have. Hey, cool. There we go, there we go. Nothing there. Oh, actually there are stuff there. It would help if I actually, like, looked. taking this apothecary cabinet. I'd like to think special holy water. I'd like to think Dester is just like, what the fuck? Aren't you supposed to care about me right now? I do care, but I want the I'm looting your stuff first. So tip, when you're playing on normal, knockdown is your friend. If you're playing on hardcore, I can't help you. I, I, there is a reason I am not doing hardcore. Ooh. Oh, can I get him now? Ah, all right. Well. Let's bash the shit out of it then. There we go. 3017. Oh, that is so crazy. Next time it'll be 2959 and I'm gonna be like, gads. So, so crazy. Okay, sorry. I've been being quiet, and I should not. Uh, Waterdeep? I've read that book before, but why not? I'll sell it. And the Trade of Blades, which I believe I've also... Actually, I'm not sure I read that one. Oh well, let's go back and talk to Dester. I've left him hanging long enough. I just kind of kept him waiting on general principle because I think he's a dick. But look at him. He's barely injured and he already surrendered. What a fucking... You know, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna rest in front of him. <laughs> your current, your current PB is infinity. Mine too, mine too. I love watching it, but no, no. I, I couldn't even manage Mario as a kid. There was one game that had some vague platforming things that I was able to do as a kid. One total. I it was am undone. Ah, here we go. Take your bow, friend. You have your traitor. What now, I wonder? Oh fuck hell. Look at the look at the dialogue. Whoops. Um I <laughs> You gonna be taken to get judged. Misha just kills you right now. You've got to explain yourselves. Uh I believe what happened here is that my intelligence has dropped to eight because of my stat issues and thus the dialogue has changed accordingly. Well, I feel like that is not appropriate drama, so. <laughs> I do love that if you have eight intelligence, the, it is a complete, they do all the dialogue differently and that's fantastic, but also undignified. So I'm pretty sure I have a lesser restoration potion in here somewhere. Because the history books have to record me speaking legible language, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's see. Did that help? 
No. <laughs> okay, well, fuck. I'm five. I have this. Okay. When will this wear off? Well, I am not going to question you until this fucking stuff wears off, so. Maybe. After all that, after all that, this is how, how it goes down in the history books. Alright. That's grace. Do I have a greater restoration of any kind? Dispel magic, silence, resistelment, song burst. No. Do I have anything that will temporarily increase intelligence? No. Fox is cunning, maybe. Can I cast it? Bard, cleric, sorcerer. Alright, you know what? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> I just want to speak coherently. I cannot use it. Of course not. Why Why would I think I could? Alright. Alright, yeah. Alright. Just for the sake of the history books. Okay. What's my intelligence at? Eleven. Okay, actually, that's a little smarter than I usually am. Alright, finally. Well done. Okay. Take your bow, friend. You have your traitor. <laughs> but now I wonder. Well, I can take him back to face judgment. I could kill him right now. You will have to explain yourself, Dester. You have questions, of course, but I don't have answers. I will not give you that satisfaction, nor will I give it to the mob that awaits Neverwinter. Your victory shall be hollow. Well, where's the cure? Of course, the cure. Don't you worry. It is here. Not that it matters. The plague would have ended soon enough without my hel false helmites spreading it. You may save a few of the worst cases, I suppose, but the damage is already done. The plague has sapped the strength of the city. It did what was intended. I have the cure. When you return to me to Lord Nasher, the cure will be delivered as well. No need to scramble about searching. I have no reason to defy you now. Alright, well, I already did that. <laughs> I already deleted the shit out of place. I have other questions I need to ask. You have... Okay. Who are your masters? We are the people of the eye. We are the old ones who follow. We are the servants of the old ones. And you are merely cattle. You cannot understand. Alright. What are the old ones? Save your wrath. You will get no satisfaction of me. I cannot explain it to you. Does the ant understand the wagon rolling above? Does the boar understand the arrow piercing through? You worship a bunch of... R of leftover vestigial Saruk. It's not that hard, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> On a list for fun games to revisit? Oh, yes, yes. It looks like it. Very difficult, but very forgiving. Oh, it does have all those continues, it looked like. You can continue quite a bit, and that's nice. Still looks really hard to me, though. <laughs> Alright, anyway, back to, back to this. You cannot comprehend my masters, and I will not speak for them. Let your saber rattle. Let Nasher bring his interrogators. You will get nothing from me. You surrendered at barely injured, you s you twit ball. I don't... You can't turn around and try to play tough guy now. How big is your group? How many people of the eye are there? We are legion, always growing in number. In the end, all who wish to survive will become as we. Move with the tide or be drowned within it. You have routed my false helmites, but we will be replaced. Our job is finished here. Our loss will not be felt. I have other questions to ask. Why was Neverwinter attacked? Why did you spread the plague? Why is anything ever attacked? To weaken it and strengthen the attacker. Neverwinter is a shadow of its former glory. Glory undeserved. You will see. It was an honor to spread the great disease. It has bled you dry and now feeds your destruction. The souls of your dead will bring my masters to power. Okay, so if you did not start the plague, who did? I will say nothing. You are like a child begging for explanations, but understanding nothing. You are doomed, and there is nothing you can do. You will see. Again, barely injured. Barely fucking injured. And he's surrendering. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that uh, he would probably kick my ass if I killed him completely. Alright, what about Fenthic? Your, tr your trickery may damn him too. Good. Let the plague suffering citizens call out for blood. Let them demand the harshest penalties. What do I care? Fenthic was the perfect tool. So willing to trust in the faith of another. Now he looks like a conspirator. Or at the very least, dangerously negligent. Tell me, what does it do to a people when they turn on the best among them? 
They shall see traitors everywhere now. Their speaker, their spirit will weaken even further. Well, I already looted the place. So, I think that's all the questions. Ah, oh, well, no more questions. I already asked those. Alright, we'll just run through this real quick. What did the plague do? Alright. Taking you back to Neverwinter. Don't rush on my account. I know what awaits me. My fate is sealed. There's comfort in that. It is better, I'll wager, than this uncertainty awaiting you. Ugh. That fucker. There's a kitten. Hello, kitten. Yep. Dester's punishment was brutal, but his death brought little satisfaction. The horrors of the Wailing Death could not Cinematic. be undone with his execution. Ooh. Those that had suffered now turned on each other. They looked for someone to blame and found it in Dester's closest friend, Fenthic. The letter of the law found him negligent, and he was hanged as a sacrifice to appease the bloodthirsty God mob. God damn it. Aww. If any thought the sentence unjust, they remained silent. Duty required all to act as one. It was not the time for divided loyalties. I know, right? The cult behind Dester's treachery still had to be found. The hunt led to the coastal town of Port Last. From here, the heroes of Neverwinter would continue the search for those behind the Wailing Death. And vengeance would be taken. You know, Nasher, here's a thought. Maybe you should give Arabeth a bit of a vacation, considering you just, like, let the mob execute her boyfriend? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. I feel like, I feel like the woman could probably use a bit of a break. I wonder if Tommy's alive. Okay, some bolts. It would be, ah, uh, it would have been hilarious if that were trapped. <laughs> and it killed me after all that. After all that. That would have been so, so funny to me. <laughs> Alright, so, new chapter. The search for the cult. Let's see what it says. Through your valiant efforts, the city of Neverwinter has been saved, and what citizens it still has have been spared the suffering of the Welling Death. Dester, the man responsible for spreading the plague, did not act alone, however. He had substantial backing from a powerful and mysterious cult, known only to be based somewhere north of Neverwinter. With the city's long quarantine lifted, and her lover, Fenthic, hanged, Lady Arabeth has moved the base of her investigation to the township of Port Last northernmost member of the Lord's Alliance. There, she has once again put out a call to adventurers to seek out the cult's corruption, wherever it may lie. The cult's base must be discovered, and its leaders brought to justice. Lady Arabeth awaits you in the town's mercenary barracks. Seriously, though. <laughs> I feel like if you kill her boyfriend, you probably should give the poor woman some time off. Just saying. Alright, Lorana. Ah, you have awoken at last. I feel privileged to finally meet you, the hero, hero of Neverwinter, here before me. I'm getting ahead of myself. You must excuse me. I'm just so excited to meet you. Welcome to Port Last. I trust you had a safe journey from Neverwinter. My name is Lorana, and Lady Arabeth has given me the honor of greeting you upon your arrival. Ah, on your way. I don't have time to waste on the likes of you. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Let me say again how much I look up to you. We've all heard of the heroic deeds you performed in Neverwinter, and how you saved so many lives from that terrible plague. I know that you must be anxious to speak with Lady Arabeth and begin the search for the cult. She's anxious to speak with you, too. You can find Lady Arabeth and her associate, Aaron Gend, in the next room, near the exit of this building. Please go and see her right away. I wish you well on your quest to find the source of that horrible plague. I am sure that you will succeed and prove to be a hero once again. Goodbye! Oh, that's nice. She seems like a nice girl. Poor Fentuk. My character's hopes of a threesome have been fully form formally dashed. And you know, Arabeth is just kind of like... Poor being worked to the bone. Good 
to see you. Okay. I intend to kill any cultists I find slowly. Please well, that's listen. good. Hello there. I have some very important information for you. All right. Please listen. Oh, Tommy's alive! I have some Yay! Very important information for you. Oh look! All of my friends. That's so good. It is good to see you here <laughs> she just ran after last, me. My friend. If we are to have any luck in tracking down this strange, she knew if if uh, she didn't come running after me, I'd just wander head, off. I am sure. Okay. I do not know how much you have been told about Lord Nash's orders. I shall help you understand whatever I can. Certainly. Well, damn it. I'll still. How I feel is unimportant next to the mission we have been given. Please allow me to explain what is required of us. You know, of course, that Dester and... and Fenthic were associated with some manner of religious cult that was behind they are all the here, yes. in the city. Which means I have to look out for weird things because eventually I'm going to have a quest to give them to my friends. We know so little about this cult. And it would be foolish in the extreme to suppose that simply because their activities in Neverwinter have been stopped, that they have been defeated. Okay. Lord Nasher commands that we track down the headquarters of this cult and discover their plans and stop them before another atrocity is committed. Agreed. Here in Gend, Lord Nasher's spymaster is here in Port Lass to help us do this and has brought reports of many strange activities throughout the Northern Lands. It is possible that agents like of the cult may He's be fun. behind some of these activities. Apparently, if you play a... If so, we mm. may be able to find them and discover where their base is located. Your aid in this will prove invaluable. Apparently, if you're a female character, you can flirt with Aaron Gend. Which is always good to have options. I'm a little sad that I don't get to flirt with Aaron Gend. I get to flirt with Arabeth, though. But, I mean, she just lost her boyfriend, so I don't think that's going to go anywhere for a long, long time. Such a shame. All right. I'll ask how she is again. I, it is, as I am sure you can well imagine. Benthic, my only love, dead at the hands of my lawful liege. His true murderers, however, lie invisibly beyond my reach. Uh, I think, I don't know if I've ever asked this before, but... Are there therapists in the Forgotten Realms? Because I feel like maybe, maybe, maybe... I mean, I think the entire city's going through some measure of post-traumatic stress, I but... with such fervor that it frightens me to see those allies of Desta pay, to see Tyr visit them with terrible justice. I am a paladin of Tyr, sworn to uphold good and justice, yet somehow I cannot condemn Fenthic in my heart. He meant only to do what he saw was his duty, I am sure of it. Wow, I got a whole lot of options here. Everyone can make a mistake. Fenthic was a fool. Very sad what happened to him. Don't be so naive. Even a paladin has a heart. Uh, well, there are a couple good ones here. I quite like that. Um... No, that one. I think that, that one would be good. That one would be good. Because I, she doesn't need my view of Fenthic anyway right now. She needs some support. But as a paladin, I am supposed to hold myself above such earthly concerns. I am supposed to know my path and be sure of it. Just as <laughs> Fenthic did. Or Her thought he did. Herbalist that can help with medicine. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Poor thing. It... Ah, oh, but I should not be distracting you from your task. My own problems are unimportant and of no interest to you, I am sure. Please forgive me. No, no, go but on. It is just that Benthic's fate could have been mine, or yours, or anyone's. How do you know that the path you walk is the correct one? I have never questioned my faith or my duty before, but neither did Benthic. I feel doubt, and I am ashamed to admit it. Perhaps I am merely wallowing in my sorrow. Perhaps I know my path better than I think I do. But I am no longer sure. Is it wrong for me to think such thoughts? Aww. And 
No, you're being too hard for yourself. All my training and instincts as a paladin tells me I am not being hard enough. Perhaps it is best if I put these thoughts out of my mind for now. Hmm. The safety of Neverwinter relies on your mission, and my duty regarding that is more than clear. Let us speak of that instead. Ah, uh, I feel like this is not going to go well. All right, some questions about the mission. Of course, ask what you will of me. What are you and Aaron again going to be doing here while I search? I am here to see that Lord Nash's commands are carried out, while Aaron continues to use his network of spies to gain more information beyond Neverwinter's walls. Admittedly, my own role seems sparse. Part of me thinks that my Lord Nash simply wishes someone he trusts in this role, while another believes he does not wish to be reminded of Benthic or my pain. Nash is kind of a dick. Regardless, we will do all that we can to help you. Do not think your efforts go unrecognized. Okay, so why are we not searching more in Neverwinter? The search does continue within the city. Indeed, Lord Nasher is having Neverwinter scoured thoroughly for more traces of the cult. It is his feeling, however, that the true force of the cult lies outside of Neverwinter, and that it is your efforts here that will prove the most valuable. Okay. What should I do if I Any discover information something? you discover should be brought to Eren and myself. Once we know more about the cult, Lord Nasha can decide what to do next. Okay. What do we know about them? Dester appears to have been their link in Neverwinter, as you discovered. But of the cult itself, we have been able to ascertain little. Eren is positive that its true heart lies outside of Neverwinter, and that it has yet to show us the extent of its strength. The task ahead of us will no doubt be most dangerous, but that makes it all the more necessary that we do not remain ignorant of what this cult is and what it intends. Okay, so how should I look for it? Aaron has several ideas on places where the cult may be hidden. Currently, he is working on finding a way into the city of Luskin. Its gates have been sealed since the plague in Neverwinter began. Ooh. I would like to go to Nest Luskin. I wonder if we'll get to. I suggest you talk to Eren about where these places might be. Search for any clues about the rise of ancient cults or odd activities. Once a way into Luskin is found, you can search there as well. What the hell is my character doing? Okay. The idols in this game are so funny. If we are fortunate, you will perhaps encounter some part of the cult and gain information as to who they are and where they are based. Okay, I want to ask Certainly. something else. Do you have any advice for me? I would suggest you speak to Eren Gend and find out where to focus your efforts in finding evidence of the cult. Okay. So, as I recall, as I go through the levels, I should come back and talk to Arabeth about stuff. Good to see you. Well, I I would like to kill them all. That sounds Hello like fun. There. Okay. So what's in the chest? Oh, L. Yay. I maybe have a few too many spirits, all things considered. Alright, body knock, there's Arabeth. Oh, I wonder, do I have, is Arabeth going to be my shopkeeper this time around? Because I'm feeling like she might not be. Okay, let's go get Tommy. Well now, if it isn't you, glad I am to see you. Isn't the country wonderful this time of year? So much better than the city with all that, um, burning and dying. You know. You know. <laughs> Me? Well, what's the halfling supposed to do? Me? I go where the money is. After you and I went our separate ways, Miss Arabeth there approached me and gave me plenty of money to hop along on this pony ride of hers. We're all supposed to help with the search. Seems like Lord Nasher wants to get rid of all the cultists who started this fight. I say good for him. Just goes to show that not old, old people are useless and should be killed, you know? <laughs> so you were conscripted into service by Arabeth. I've already been paid by Miss Arabeth, and good coin too, I my dad. You, you'd think this Nasher fellow belched gold at will. <laughs> I was just told that I'm supposed to help out where I can. How sweet and unspecific is that? I uh, don't suppose you actually want something, do you? Do you have any information on the cult? Nothing more than anyone. You ask me though. Luskin's the place to look. Luskin? Oh, aye, aye. The place says pirate. Uh, the, 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 the city has pirates and thieves galore. Anyone with a, any kind of bad reputation is more than welcome there, I assure you. Been there a few times myself. Thieves got a thief, yeah, yeah. What better place for a frog to hide than among toads? Not that I have any evidence to back that up or anything. I could use a good rogue at my side. 
Well, isn't it a coincidence that I happen to be a good rogue? Well, this one rabbit cum was beginning to bore me anyway. Aww. I should probably talk to my other henchmen and just make sure they're still on board. Okay. Yes. Port last. Port last. Subtitled, Arabeth Needs Therapy, and we're going out wilderness hunting. Okay, hello, Daylin. How are you? It is a pleasure to see you again, though not altogether unexpected. I like his I voice. I heard that Arabeth recruited you to stamp out the foul cult that was responsible for the plague. You again? Are you following me around like some kind of pathetic lost puppy? I do like some of the dialogue options. I'm surprised to see you here. I know we went our separate ways, but it seems that the gods have seen fit to bring us together once more. After we parted ways in Neverwinter, I returned to the trade of blades to offer my skills for hire. It was there I was approached by Lady Arabeth on behalf of Lord Nasher himself. It seems Lord Nasher is determined to root out the cult that brought so much suffering to his city. He has ordered all the mercenaries in Neverwinter to come to Port Lass to join in the search. So you were conscripted? When Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services. Well paid. Lord Nasher sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions were simply to make ourselves available to whomever requires our assistance. So in that spirit, is there anything I can do for you? Do you have any information? I have heard nothing of the cult, though many suspect, as I do, that answers might be found in the city of Luskin. That city has long been the blight, an enemy of Neverwinter. An evil blight upon the north. It is widely acknowledged as the home of murderers and thieves. A place with no honor. It would not surprise me to discover that links, links to the cult in that den of evil. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not now, but later when I find shit, I will come back. And I bid you farewell. If you ever find yourself in need of a skilled and honorable warrior, come speak to me again. Of course, of course. I have a bunch of companion quests I'm going to want to do. Ah, Grimnaw the Creepy, here you are. Let's talk to you. What's down here? Anything down here? Kendrak. Who the hell is Kendrak? Oh, the carpet. What the hell is on the carpet? There is a spell of slow in the carpet. Hello, Kendrak. Hey, I suppose you're here to sign up, right? I have no time for a new apprentice, however, so off we go. Uh oh. He's got him. All for your stream on. Uh. I think. Is that a bot? Or a spammer? Hmm. Well. Good to know. Alright, anyway. Sign up for what? For the Bloody Mercenary Guild, of course. Isn't that why you've come? Unless unless you're not here for training. No. Wait, now I've placed you. You're one of the folk who claim with Lady Arabeth, aren't you? From Neverwinter. My apologies, lad. We get so many strangers coming to town these days, after all. Something I can do for you? So who are you? Name be Kendrak, leader of the guild here and mayor of Port Lask, also known as First Captain. Your name be... Oh, pleased to meet you. I think the, I recall the lady mentioning you now. She said you'd be a hero, in fact, which makes me doubly glad you're here. I have a problem someone competent like yourself might be able to help with, and there's coin in it to boot. Might you be interested in? Sure, why not? What's the problem? I received word from Waterdeep not long ago that a bu group of criminals escaped from the Bulwark prison Dangerous bunch. Killers all. According to word, the group be split up to avoid capture, but all of them be in this region. This makes me nervous, it does. Oh! Oh, and I think I remember... I remember one of the resolutions to this actually annoyed me, because it did involve an alignment shift I didn't agree with. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Probably not going to be doing it today, though. Each of them has a sizable bounty for their left ear, marked with the seal of the bulwark, to prove they be dead. Tis too dangerous a task to set up my own men to it, but perhaps you might up be up to the challenge. What do you think? How, how, how dangerous are these men? Not all of them be men, in fact. They'll all be quite deadly. If he finds them, be careful. At least they'd be separated now, and not all together. So I'd have to bring back their ear? Yeah, they'd be not wanted alive any longer seal of the prison on their ear identifies them and it'd be easier than carrying the body all right how much are the bounties there'd be five criminals escaped and a bounty of 300 gold pieces just for each of them okay yeah i'll do it that's nice relief to hear that 
If left free and alive, these criminals would become a problem, I'm sure. I hope you find them all. The five be named as follows. Zor, the Sturge, Wyvern, Delilah, and Yeskar. Okay, well let's find out about these guys. Tell me about Zor. Zor be a Minotaur, so he should stick out wherever he goes. He be strong and a fierce warrior, but is a wee bit simple in the head. I'm told he has many friends still in Luskin. It may be that he will be there, or at least attempting to enter the city. So there's five of them. I wonder if that means one is going to be in the hub area. Tell me about the Sturge. You doing okay? Okay. The Sturge be a strange one. A gnome thief, it is said, who believes himself to be the smartest man alive. The gnome were sighted last from the wildlings along the south road, though. He could be anywhere there. Okay. Tell me about Wyvern. The Wyvern is an elven man, a renowned bandit who is familiar with the ways of the wood. He be deceptive and cunning, and skilled with a bow. The elf has not been sighted, but I have little doubt he be hidden within the Neverwinter Wood. Best search for him there. Okay, tell me about Delilah. A female halfling who is known for being cruel and wicked. She be an assassin who comes out of Luskin. I hear the city be closed up tight, however, so I doubt she'll be there. Last word I had of her is that she was spotted east of town and then all but vanished. Okay, finally, tell me about Yeskar. Yeskar be a fierce half-orc murderer, and it were he that masterminded the escape of all these criminals. Of the ones that escaped, tis Yeskar who remained the most elusive. I have not a clue where he might be, though he will not stray far. Let me ask you something else. Okay. I'd like to ask some questions. What the fuck? Okay. Ah, uh, headed to sleep? Okay, well, good night, obsessive repulsive. I think you've got a pretty good idea, so. After I. I might head out myself after I finish roaming around this area. But, still got a bit of time. I don't think I'm gonna go into any of the big areas yet tonight, though. So, what have you heard about the plague in Neverwinter? Only that it be over, lad. A mighty relief that news was as well. Folk were terrified that the plague would spread to town. Anything odd in the area? Uh, we could be getting reports of all kinds of strangeness in the region. Monsters rampaging, bandits traveling about at will, that sort of thing. It's most strange. I suppose maybe it's to be suspected, though. Neither Neverwinter nor Luskin has the manpower for patrols right now, I. If you're asking about odd things in Port Last, hmm, maybe you should speak to Nurik at the temple. I hear the cleric has grave worries of late. Okay. Um... Let me ask you something else. Need some directions. Okay, is there a good near inn nearby? Aye, the Alliance Arms is a fine inn. You'll find other adventurers there like yourself this time of year. Is that where I am? Because that would make sense. Uh, is there a decent store? H Hall gel at the Cracked Anvil should have just about everything you need. Does he have another bag of holding? Because I've only got two. <laughs> Uh, what temples are nearby? The only temple in town is Tears Lad. Your Lady Arabeth be there, as, as is Father Neric. She's not yet. <laughs> Unless this is it. Okay. Can you get magical supplies in town? Yeah, if you wish. Them cloak wizards have a built-in built, built -in enclave here. It is a strange place, but Altura Al caters to wizardly folk. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with them, but I might be able to do something. Okay. Is there a druid grove in the area? There'll be one off in the Neverwinter Wood, I... You may wish to speak to Ballard about it. You'll find him at his little grove just outside town. Okay. Do you need something else? How do I get to Luskin from here? Take the road north. They say the gates be closed tight due to the sickness in Neverwinter, however. And they'll not let you in. Fair. Alright, let me ask you something else. I think that's all the questions I can ask him right now. Wish you the best of luck. Okay, so I've got a quest. A quest that should take me across different areas. Port Last Bounty Hunt. Now, I wonder... How much you want to bet that this Yeskar douchebag is a lot closer than he seems? But, I think we'll find that out eventually. Uh oh. Did I freeze? Oh no. No! Please don't do this to me. Not right now. Uh. 
<laughs> when did I save? When did I save? I know I saved recently, but this recently? Ah. Uh. Alright, well... Well... <laughs> that might be a good sign that maybe I should call it quits a little early today. Well, maybe not. I can still hang around, I just might have to reboot. So, well, just the game, not the whole computer, god willing. If I have to reboot the whole computer, I'm gonna call it quits for the night. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna have to to test manager myself out of the game for a second, because for the most part it works pretty well on my machine. It's just every once in a while I do get a little bit of a glitch, which is why I save often. Alright, there we go. Let's try this one more time and see if we can't at least finish this little room. Oh god, when did I save? Well, I guess I'll find out. Oh, hello baby. Yeah, still moving. Okay. All right. Load. Okay, well, I'm in port last. No, don't make me go through this. <laughs> You're kind of invested now? Okay. Well, I'll stick around a little longer, I think. I, as I said, I don't think I'm going to go in any of the big areas tonight. But the little areas here, I, I probably can. All right. I do have Tomy, so that's good. I don't think I talked to Dalen yet, but it's not that big of a deal as we saw. Um, well, we'll talk to him briefly. Because I already talked to him before, so I might as well. Alright, I'm surprised no, to see you. I am not reading through all this dialogue again, because I am lazy. And... Okay. The information... Okay, I don't need anything right now, but I will eventually recruit you if only to do your quest. Okay, Kendrick? Let me look in the cabinet. Ten of gold. Which I'm taking right in front of this guy and he doesn't care. Okay. Sign up. There we go. Where are you? Oops. Yeah, well. Not quite as formal as I'd like, but I kind of zipped through that dialogue. Okay. Uh. Bring back the ear. How dangerous are the men? How much are the bounties? Yes, I'll do it. Okay. Zor, tell me about Sturge, tell me about Wyvern, tell me about Delilah, tell me about Yesker, and conveniently there are four areas to this thing. <laughs> and someone else, uh, ask some questions, plague, odd, no questions about the bounties. Direction, ah crap, get back here, alright. I have a thing about making sure I ask, exhaust all the dialogue options. <laughs> so. So even though I've already gone through all this ad nauseum, I still want to have it... If there's some sort of hidden flag somewhere, I want to make sure that it's, it's triggered. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's, let's save. And port last. Are you going to be speedrunning tonight, Merrick? I might have asked you before, and I can't remember if I did or not. So I do apologize if this is like a repeat question. Okay, adventures. Huh? At least these people aren't aren't well, twitchy about the fact that I've got my uh, sword out. That was always annoying. Ah. I taste a storm of oh, well. On the air. I'm not surprised to find you here at the center of the world. Ah, creepy Grimna. Oh, well, I'm sad for me, but working is a good thing. I mean, gotta be able to afford afford everything so that you can play. So that's good, that's good. Alright, what are you doing here, Grimna? When we parted ways, I meant to return to my order, but I bowed to the silent lord, and I discovered I could best serve his will by staying in Neverwinter for the time being. I am eager to find and slaughter those who unleashed the wailing death upon Neverwinter. Thousands were taken by the disease, their essence stolen from the grasp of true death. 
That was why I answered Lord Nash's desperate call for mercenaries to come to Fort Lask. He's also anxious to root out those behind the Wailing Death, so you were conscripted. When Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services. Well paid. Lord Nash was sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions were simply to make ourselves available to whoever requires our assistance. So in that spirit, is there anything I can do for you? Any information? Oh, Grimnaw has different info. Their location is well hidden. However, I would not be surprised to learn they are connected with the village of Charwood. Charwood? The town has isolated itself from the rest of the world, far to the south of Port Last. Few outside my order even remember such a place exists. The town is a strange place. There's a foul taint upon it that we of the Long Death can feel. None of the emissaries my order has sent south to investigate Charwood has ever returned. It would not surprise me to discover links to the cult behind the Wailing Death in that unnatural place. Is there anything more I can do for you? No, not right now. Return to me if you require an ally in your mission. Together we can help sow the seeds of destruction throughout the land and reap a harvest of agony and death. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're gonna wait here, and when I find your shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you all about your backstory, and then I will give you your shit. You will update the thing you have for me, and I will pretend again that we do not know each other after that. No offense, you're just really creepy. Let's talk to Sharwin. So we meet again. The others had told me Arabeth had recruited you to find cultists. I can't say I'm surprised. You've acquired quite the reputation for yourself, haven't you? I'm not surprised to see you here, Sharwin. And why is that? Just because we went our separate ways in Neverwinter, I'm supposed to disappear off the face of Hayward? If you haven't noticed, there's a shortage of good adventurers. That's fair. Lady Arabeth approached me at the Trade of Blades to hire me on Lord Nash's behalf. Just as you were, I imagine. It looks to me like Dor Lord Nasher is pulling out all the stops to find this cult. The search in Neverwinter is immense, and we mercenaries have been sent to Port Last to join the effort with you and Arabeth. Lucky us. So you were conscripted. I've been paid good sword. Uh, okay, I've been paid good coin for my services by Lord Nasher. Actually, that does seem a bit over the top, doesn't it? Yeah, Grimdaw is pretty great, but it's kind of hard to rationalize traveling him if you're not playing someone kind of borderline evil. That said, he does give a pretty nifty uh, item when you do his quest, and his quest isn't too bad, usually. Or at least there's usually a way to complete the quest without having to go murder somebody. Hey, kitten. Sorry. I may have mentioned before, but I have a kitten with me. Well, a cat. <laughs> Who's on drugs? Poor baby. So wobbly. Okay. Anyway, it's another chance at acquiring some fame in my eyes. Even though I've been told to merely offer assistance to you and Arabeth for now. So, do you need in my help? Do you have any information on the cult? The cult can be practically anywhere. You might want to look in the hills by the Green Griffin Inn. I've heard many tales of monsters raiding the roads nearby in force. Monsters? Bugbears and orcs, mostly. Apparently they were being directed by some humans, however, which would make it quite odd. At any rate, since Luskin is wrapped up in its own concerns, the countryside has become open season for banditry. These monsters, however, are more organized than normal. Okay. I like Sharwin. It's just unfortunately I need someone to uh, open chests. Let's talk to Linu. Okay, let's see. I've got Tommy, Dylan, Grimna, Sharwin, then Linu and Bodynock. Okay, six. Ah. I will not apologize for the kitty. I love cats too. Yes. The only thing I apologize for is because I can't... OBS really doesn't like trying to work with my webcam on. Um, you can't see my cat. But you can imagine a little a little ti tabby that is incredibly cute. And you imagine her quite well. Right now she is half sleeping, half wobbling. <laughs> Hello. I had hoped that you would show up here, my friend. I heard that Arabeth recruited you to stamp out the evil cult that was responsible for the plague. Linu, what a pleasant surprise. I thought we had parted ways for good, Stephen, but the goddess has her own plans that I must follow. I went back to the Trade of Blades to prepare myself for a journey home. I was only there for a few hours when I was approached by Lady Arabeth on behalf of Lord Nasher himself. 
She told me that Lord Nasher is determined to root out the cult that brought so much suffering to his city. He has ordered all the mercenaries in Neverwinter to come to Fort Lass to join the search. I was afraid I might have missed you while I was changing my clothes. Oh, this should be good. Changing your clothes? Oh, when I came here, a waitress spilled some drinks. She soaked your clothes? Well, no, I bumped into her, and when the drinks crashed down, I leapt backwards into a door, knocking over his ale and stew. So that messed you up? <laughs> uh, no, the food and drink landed on the floor, but the dwarf crashed into a half-orc, causing the knife he was eating with to slice open his cheek. That's when the brawl started. I love Lena. <laughs> and you wrecked your outfit in the brawl. I managed to stay out of the brawl, hiding under the table and feeling awfully guilty. When the fight was over, I felt I should help clean up the mess. So you got dirty cleaning up? <laughs> Please tell me that's how you got dirty. <laughs> no, I wore an apron and managed to stay pretty clean. Then I stepped outside for a breath of fl fresh air and slipped in a mud puddle. So then I had to go change. I need to think I need to go somewhere else. Maybe to a nice safe dragon's lair. Uh, why don't you just tell me you slipped in a mud puddle from the start? I, I didn't want you to think I was clumsy. I love Lena. <laughs> I'll be- I'm waiting here at the order of Lady Arabeth. <laughs> so you're working for Arabeth. Lord Nasher ordered all mercenaries to come to Fort Glass to help discover the whereabouts of the cult that nearly destroyed his city. I spent weeks wearing myself out trying to help the ease the suffering of plague victims. I jumped at the opportunity to bring the culprits to justice. Um, have you heard any rumors about the cult? I haven't heard anything specific about the cult, but I have heard some- about some trouble around Neverwinter Wood. I don't know very much, but apparently there was a ranger in town t here that was telling of animals savagely attacking anyone in or around the woods. Having failed to destroy us with our terrible disease, it would hardly shock me to find out that the cult had struck with a plague of vicious animals. Okay. Are you planning to travel there? I'm not much of an investigator. I've been ordered to travel with anyone who has need of a healer. You are the one who knows how to solve mysteries. I would love to help you, though. I have strong abilities in the art of healing, and can stand on my own in a fight. Okay. Ah, I don't want to say I'm not interested. I just, I've got Tommy right now. Well, I think I'll just say yes, and then I'm going to switch switch him back out for Tommy. Oh, are you going to go eat? Oh. Cat! <sighs> oh dear. Sweetheart, you can't walk upright. Do you want some help? No? You're just glaring at me now, aren't you? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, yes, I abused my position by having you in my lap for so long. I, I understand, I understand. Uh, cats, cats. Okay. Yes, the, the face palm I'm assuming is for Lino. Lino is wonderful. Oh, I got her token. Actually, okay, I'm going to go back and get everybody's token. Because I do want their tokens. It is a pleasure to see you again. Alright, shit, I'm going to have to go through all the dialogue again. Alright, well, yes. Okay, good fighter. Okay, now I've got his feather. Um, Grimnall. We meet again. Okay, what are you doing here? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I need the. I didn't realize that I need to get the. Okay, I can use the monk. Okay. All right, so I've got Linus. I've got. I need Sharwins. And then there's this body so, lock, I think. We meet again. The others had told me. Okay. 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 All right. Um, yeah, <laughs> just to make you fell into a puddle. Oh, Lena. <laughs> Lena's so great. She has the best like random stories. Unfortunately, the spellcaster AI is kind of crap. If you don't get a mod to help with it, so I don't usually take Lena or Body Knock, even though personality-wise they're by far the most entertaining. Though Tommy has some good stories too. All right. Now, uh, let me get Body Knock, so then I can complete my set. Good to see you again. Though in actual fact, I cannot say I am really surprised. Okay, hold on. I'm just making sure I got all of them. Ah! No, don't walk away. I'm just scrolling through the fucking scroll. Okay, never mind. I feel like if I keep trying to do that, I'm going to cause trouble. I'll just look at my inventory later. Okay. When I heard Arabeth was recruiting people to aid in the search for the cult behind the Wailing Death, it was a simple logical step to assume that you would be one of those recruited. 
Ah, shoot. One sec. All right. I lost my chat. I hate when I do that. One second. I'm going to go find my chat again. I am having comedic misadventures of the likes of Linu. Okay, not that bad, admittedly. But still. Save me. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3. That that looks like it'll be so much fun. Um uh one of my one of my mutuals, I think, tends to play it quite a play the demo quite a bit. Uh her name is Lilith Hobo, I think. I don't know I don't think she's on right now. But um but if you want to see some of the footage from it, it looks really cool. I mean, you might have seen it already. I'm the person who's always behind with such things. Um, but it looks really cool. The one thing I don't like, though, is that apparently for the skill sets, they have this animation. Yeah, I know, it's the losing checks do suck. So there's like an animation of rolling dice when you're doing it. And I guess it's not really any different than having the little line in the dialogue box down here but I don't know it bites me a little bit I'm sure I'd get used to it though if the game's fun enough little things like that are hardly a bother ah okay I've never been stalked by a gnome before that's mean what are you doing here body knock when we parted ways Stephen I meant to continue my explorations of the north but then I heard the Arabeth was recruiting mercenaries to join in the search for the cult behind the plague you may have discovered a cure for the plague and fleshed out those behind it, but the process by which the wailing death was spawned has not yet been determined. Given my scientific interest in the plague, and my desire to ensure it is never again unleashed upon Faerun, it was only logical that I answer Arabeth's call for aid, so you're conscripted. <laughs> when Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services. Well paid. Lord Nasher is sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Our instructions were to simply make ourselves available to whomever requires our assistance. So, in that spirit, is there anything I can do for you? Have you heard any rumors? I have heard people claiming the cult has a base in the plains to the south. Others insist there is undeniable evidence of the cult in the forest to the east. Still, others swear the cult is hiding in the city of Luskin to the north. Ah, oh, poor wobbly thing. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Obviously, such rumors and hearsay are of little value. I prefer to put my faith in hard empirical evidence. Evidence I can observe with my own two eyes. As of yet, I have found no evidence I consider reliable. But you must have an opinion of where to start looking. I don't think you understand. Without the proper data to analyze, my evaluation of the si situation will result in a hypothesis with an unacceptable margin of error. Naturally, I have formed some preliminary theories. But if I were to venture any opinion on this matter, it would be nothing more than a complete and utter guess. <laughs> so guess. Sometimes you just gotta play a hunch. A hunch? You're a strange man. But I suppose if I were forced to <sighs> guess, I would say that we should start our search in the Neverwinter Wood to the southeast of Port Last. Why? Or what's there? Rubes, yeah, roots, herbs, and other flora grow in abundance in the forest, many of which can be used to heal a variety of illnesses. It's, it is only logical to assume that such plants can also be used to bring sickness and death. Mm. Oh, that's cool. That's cool that you have it and messed around with it. It does, it does look good. I don't know if my computer can play it, though. That's the only downside. I remember... I'm always behind when it comes to computers. Um, I remember when Dragon Age Inquisition came out. I could play it, but oh, what I had to do to those graphic settings to get it to play. My poor character looked like he had a helmet for a head. And of course, I used the character creator, and I, I can't be trusted with su such things. So the poor guy was like, <laughs> like practically cadaverous. Very, very awkward looking. Very awkward looking. But it did have a really great a really great effect when he tried to smile he just looked like someone who needed like to learn how to be a real boy and it worked really well with sarah's quests anyway tangent aside plus the woods are shunned by most civilized people they believe that they are haunted making it a perfect place for a secret hideout for a large group hmm, that's reasonable the neverwinter woods seems to be the only place that provided the seclusion and the materials that would have been necessary for the cult to bring about the wailing death at least that's my best guess you seem to have solid reasons for a guess. 
As I said, I had a preliminary hypothesis. However, I would not be at all surprised to find my theory about the Neverwinter Wood to be wrong. Are you going to investigate? I am an accomplished sorcerer, Stephen, but I also have a realistic understanding of my own limitations. Surviving the wilds of this region alone would be a challenge that surpasses my capabilities. Besides, Arabeth has hired us so that we may serve and assist others who are more suited for heroism and great deeds. You are a well-known hero. If I were to accompany you, I'm certain my skills will be a soft choose. Yes, I want your token. I will be glad to join your cause. It's an honor to serve with a hero such as you. Continue. I will follow you and perform to the best of my abilities, according to the orders you have given me. Any time you wish to issue new orders, you have only to speak to me again. All right. Now, I have an army. It is a bit of a shame that I can only have one at a time. In Hordes of the Underdark, you can have two, and they banter with each other sometimes, and that's really fun. I figured they'd drag your carcass back here eventually. Yes, I'm You need me to come with you again? Your buddy knocked so cute. Yes, I need someone who can open locks. I feel like I'm still going to discover quite a few tre treasure chests in the wilds. Alright, so... Got my bounty hunt. Now, let's see. Who else can we talk to here that has a name? Because usually the names are the ones that count. Or at least a unique descriptor. Barrax, who are you? Hello there. Hero of Neverwinter. I am Barrax, formerly a soldier of Neverwinter. Now I intend to hunt down the bastards who did this to us. Uh, how do you know my name? Everyone knows your name. You were one of the people who saved us from the plague. And I suspect that you'll help just as much in the search for the bastards who started it. Uh, so who are we searching for? The cult, of course! The mysterious organization that unleashed the plague on Neverwinter and killed so many innocent people. A hero like you is just what we need to find them. Well, I have no interest in finding this cult. I'll do my best. I'm sure that it will be more than enough. A lot of innocent people were killed, and this cult owes us a debt that can only be repaid with in blood. Give them hell for all of us. What are you doing? All right, fine. If you're happy, just sitting there. All right. Cats. They're adorable and annoying. All right. Adventure, adventure, adventure. Ah, well, I have talked to everyone in this inn multiple times, I think. Oh, hello. I have zoomed out. Have I looked into that box? I don't know if I've looked at the box. I'm going to look at the box. I've probably looked in the box already. Oh no, I have not, because I would have looted that shit if I had. I'm a little sad that we don't have like a temple store though that I can sell this. Well, they did say that there was a temple though, so I'll have to go find it. Aaron Gend. Hail, friend. You were instrumental in bidding Neverwinter of the I Wind love his portrait. I understand. Allow me to congratulate you on a job well done. This is a man with style. This man has style. Not as much style as I have, of course, but. I don't think he's wearing pants. Are we kin in our stuff? No, he's wearing brown pants. Darn it. I thought for a moment that we were we were fashion compatriots. Nope, just brown pants. Too bad. You've right. shown yourself to be possessed of remarkable courage and resourcefulness. That is fortuitous. For both these qualities will be needed if you are to complete your mission. Good to know. But that is not how we should begin. I am known as Aaron Gen, and I have served our Lord Nasher for some time. Hopefully, I may be of similar use to you now. Pleased to meet you. My name is Stephen Lioness. Technically, his name is Stephen's son, Pantaloon Lioness, but I couldn't fit that in the box. Okay, pleased to meet you. Indeed. I know who you are. There are many who whisper your name right now, and it is my business to listen to them all. My place lies in the shadows. I have many eyes and ears throughout the northern lands. And it is my place to inform Lord Nasher where the vipers lay in wait. I'd listen to this guy read a phone book, to be honest. If only I had foreseen the actions of this cult, I could have prevented the disaster. But these men move skillfully out of my sight and hearing. Such a cool voice. Instead of recriminating myself for my failure, I must do what I can to repair the damage. And that is to offer what information I have to you, so that you may find where this new nest of vipers hides. Okay. Erebeth has informed you of where you must search, yes? She's she has like... told you of how you may <laughs> root out these fiends. 
She said you would explain the details. Unearthing the cult will not be a simple task. What few whispers I have collected, however, have allowed me to narrow your search to this region. That's good. It is vital that the cult's exact location be found, and that we are certain any leads we discover are not attempts at deception. Erebeth will not be satisfied until we find at least two separate leads that point to the same locale. That is your task. I want all three, because I don't like leaving things incomplete. I do know of one possible lead for you. There has been strange news regarding a series of caves that lie north of Port Last. Investigation may reveal the cult to be hidden there. Okay. If not, there are other avenues for you to investigate. The city of Luskin to the north, Neverwinter Wood to the east, and the wildlands of the south road. Hmm. All right. I suggest, however, that looking into the caves first would still be your wisest choice. Sounds like a good option. The caves are in the hills to the north of Port Last, near the Green Griffin Inn. They have long been used by humanoid tribes of orcs, bugbears, and the like. They aren't usually a concern. In recent months, however, I have received word that these various humanoid creatures have been raiding the roads south of Luskan. Hmm. Okay. This would not be unusual, except that the creatures now seem very organized and, I hear, are being led by humans. Hmm. This leads me to believe the cult may be involved. That will be for you to determine. Just keep this in mind. No matter what you find there, Erebeth will wish two firm leads on the cult's location before she will act. We cannot afford a mistake. Have you a question for me then, my friend? Okay, I'd like to know about the other places. As you wish. I will certainly tell you all I know about the other places you may need to search. Uh, sorry, just a Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Tell me of Luskin. Aye, a city of pirates and base villainy. The city itself will be closed to you now, but it will be worth your while to go in that direction anyway. You should seek out the humanoid caves by the Green Griffin. Okay. Their gates have been sealed ever since the plague Why is it began closed? in Neverwinter, <laughs> I'm afraid. The city is quite anarchic. An outbreak there would be devastating indeed. I have been attempting to pull what strings I can to convince officials in Luskin that the plague is over, but I am having little luck so far. Before the gates closed, there were rumors of battles in the streets in Luskin. Who knows what transpires there? With luck, I will soon arrange you a way inside to investigate. It is known as the City of Sails, home to pirates and far worse ilk, and ruled by five high captains who maintain an uneasy balance of power. Okay. True power, however, lies in the hands of the mages of the Arcane Brotherhood within the host tower. Even I know little of these men. Okay. The city is powerful, anarchic, and dangerous. Luskin has challenged the Lord's Alliance more than once. Be careful when you walk its streets, for many within see strangers as easy prey. Okay, did I ask this one? Evil men are common as coins in Luskin, my friend. This cult could walk the streets unnoticed and find many allies who would heed gold above all else. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> the fact that the city remains sealed even now that the plague has ended and so little word escapes its walls has me worried of what events transpire there. Mm. Additionally, I have been troubled by reports of humanoid banditry taking place on the road between Neverwinter and Luskin. This is unusual, and while it may simply be caused by Luskin's ignorance, it should be investigated. Okay. As you wish. I will so. certainly tell you all I know about the other places you may need to search. Okay, okay. One of the deepest and most ancient woods of the north, my friend. It is filled with life both beautiful and dangerous, and is tended to by the Order of Druids. 
How do I get there? Follow the road east of Port Last. The lands are wild and sparsely populated there. And when you reach the boundaries of the Great Forest, you will know. Okay, what do you know about the place? Like Neverwinter, the forest is warmed by the magically heated waters of the river that runs through it. It is a grand and beautiful place, I am told. Hmm. Few journey through its boundaries, however, as it is said that the wood has a life of its own and is unwelcoming to outsiders. This part the of the game. of the wood, watched <laughs> over by the Archdruid Awen, are aware of all Sorry. that passes within their charge. It is my hope that they can provide you aid. That's the part for all the rangers and druids to have a lot of fun. Why do you think the cultists might be the there? The Archdruid Awel has sent several letters to Lord Nasher as of late, begging for aid against some unknown force that assails the wood. Lord Nasher would have provided the help the Archdruid required, but could not due to the chaos within the city. Neverwinter must come first. Awel has sent no more messages in recent days, and it is possible that the druids exist no more. The exact danger that was being faced was not explained. This cult may not even be involved. It may, however, so this may be an excellent avenue for you to search. As you wish. I will uh. certainly tell you all I know about the other places you may need to search. Okay, so I've asked about north, I've asked about east, let's find out about south. The road leads eventually home to Neverwinter, but before that lay many miles of wildlands, as well as the village of Charwood. The cult could hide in many places there. I'm gonna guess I go south, but I'll ask the anyway. The southern road is not so much a place you go to, my friend, as it is a route you take. It will lead you eventually to Neverwinter, but it is the region itself that concerns me. What do you know about Very it? Very little. There has been little news from the village of Charwood for many years, I understand. It may have been deserted, for all I, I can it. tell. Okay. Alright. Ruins will be common, and it is said that other, stranger creatures may have made these wildlands their home. A powerful wizard is even said to have taken residence. Eat? Okay, why do you think the I have no are reports there? from this area. None. This disturbs me perhaps more than it should. As the cult could exist openly here, and I would not even know. Okay. I offer the South Road as a possibility mostly out of speculation, my friend. I simply would not wish to leave it out entirely, just in case my suspicions have good reason. All right. As you wish. All right. I, there are locals who could tell you more. Shouldn't have cut them off, but that's okay. My knowledge of it is limited. Would it be possible to hire help? I am told there is a barracks for mercenaries within the settlement. If you desire to hire assistance, inquire there. Yeah, I think I think at one point it was intended that the characters be scattered, or maybe they're going to be scattered after this. Um, that they wouldn't be here per se, but I don't know about that. Okay, hence the reference of her being in the Temple of Tear. But we'll see, they might end up being elsewhere. Okay. Do you think there might be cult activity here? I did here? my best to investigate Port Last before we made our base here, my friend. But what you suggest is not impossible. There may have been things ongoing in this place which escaped my notice. An investigation on your part is not without merit. Okay. As you wish. I have you a question for me then, my friend? I'd rather talk about I something else. What would you have of me? Well, I can ask backstory stuff. <laughs> I... I think I'll ask what he'll be doing. I still serve as Lord Nasher's master of spies, my friend. And his need for proper information is more vital now than even before. True. My ear must remain to the ground, even if my efforts must be coordinated from here, rather than deeper in the shadows. I do like his voice. I shall continue to seek word on the cult that might aid your quest. Though I have my doubts in that. You will have far more success than I, I think. I like Arabeth's voice too, um, but sometimes I feel like the direction they gave the actress was to uh, talk as though you're in a big echoey chamber and it doesn't always seem to have quite as much impact, but that's all right. All right, what's the situation in Neverwinter? Grim. Lord Nasher reports that many of our armed forces have perished from the plague. And even more are needed to restore order to the city. The worst is perhaps over now that the plague is cured. 
but still we reel from a crippling blow. It will be some time before things return to what they were. Okay, and I've asked about the region, so I guess May I'll be going. Luck of the gods be your... Oh, actually, there was something I wanted the to ask him. smile on us that you remain yet unharmed for your efforts. I. What would you have of me? There we go. How did you become a spy that master? That is a curious question, my friend. Nor does it have a simple answer, if the truth be known. And is not a tale that I care to often tell. I'd still like to hear it. As you wish, my friend. Though I'll not be held responsible should you backstory. not Backstory. the telling of it. I like backstory. Let me see. Perhaps it is best if I ask you a question first. Smooth grace of a stalking panther. Are you not? Uh, sorry. Let's click that. How is it that you came into your calling? Was it an accident? Was it born purely of talent? Oh, tired, distracted, and far more guarded. You were Poor thing. To be what you are. Um. Hmm. Like all of these. I didn't mean to take this path, but here I am. I've always had a talent for what I do. I suppose it was fate, and it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I like the last one. Hmm. Oh, well, thank you. I like I like to read the text. It's fun. Actually, I've always had a kind of thwarted ambition to become a voice actor, so I love any excuse to read up with what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah, I can imagine you can't watch while driving a forklift. That sounds hard. Um, I, I can barely drive a car, so <laughs> so driving something like a forklift would be really, really tough for me. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. I do think I'm probably going to call it a night after I finish talking to Erend, though, because um, it is a work night for me. i got to got the morning to do stuff but that's all right maybe i'll catch you next time i might i might do it tomorrow night i'm definitely gonna do it saturday night because it's fun it's very addictive all right all right okay uh gosh i don't know what would be the best answer for him i guess i'll go with two it's not very modest but i feel like it suits him it must be a fine thing to be sure of one's abilities I envy you that. For most, the destination is never clear until they arrive. I picked the one about, uh, about being skilled at what I do. I myself started life as a slave in the southern deserts of Kalamshan. Never would I have mm -hmm. foreseen that I might become who I am today. Oh, that is... I knew of the lush and wild jungles of my homeland, Chult, only through the bedtime tales of my mother. I have never laid eyes upon its shore. I feel like, I think Storms of Zahir, you can play, and, and this got, partly takes place in Chult. I could be wrong about that, though. My mother was owned by a most vicious and cruel oh, thank caliph. you. As it's a so slave nice. child, one learns to stay out of sight and to move silently, lest one be beaten. I would imagine. Moreover, I learned to listen. <laughs> I listened to the chatter of the servants. The bored talk of the guards. For many, many years, oh, there I you was are. the shadow in the caliph's halls. I think I'm gonna pick up my cat again. She's wobbling again. One sec. See, my cat is ridiculously adorable and affectionate, but she's not one that really likes laps. And so I am absolutely abusing the fact that she's high on gabapentin to keep to keep her in my lap. It's awful. The betrayal. The betrayal. Right, kitten? So much betrayal. She's going to make me pay for this later. But right now, right now, I am enjoying it. All right. So poor Aaron. <laughs> I, I'm busy talking to through his story and it's actually a pretty cool story. For all my hiding, however, I proved of no use to anyone but myself. Oh. I could Sad story. My mother, when the caliph beat her to death for spilling a tankard of his mead, for instance. Ooh. 
Your child? What could you have done? I blamed myself regardless, as the young often do. Mm, I suppose. Poor, poor fella. In grief and anger, I stabbed and killed the Caliph. And was subsequently chased into the streets of Camelot. You murdered him? How could you? No, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I. I feel like Stephen's emotional response will be good. He deserved it, but I think he would outwardly be a bit more neutral. So he'll say, "What happened to you I then?" Fled to the shadows of the city, and was not alone there. Mm. I found many who yeah. I would call allies and not friends, for we acted in unison only to survive. Yeah, I'm watering again. Oh, poor baby. Oh, ew. I gotta, gotta get a damn washcloth later. Okay. The law pursued me, so always I remained hidden and listened as I once had. The fact that I was a thief to remain alive did not help. And eventually, even the shadows of the city were no longer safe for me. Okay. I sought passage out of the city, and eventually a captain took pity on me and gave me a position aboard his ship. Perhaps you have heard of Randall the Red? This is where I try not to make a, a joke about uh, what what is it in Skyrim? Uh, oh, I, can't, I blanked. I ruined my own joke because I can't remember what the fucking Skyrim song is that you, you hear all the time. Something the red. Oh well, darn it, darn it. I need to do I need to do homework before I do these things, and then I can get my jokes right. I have heard of him. He's a notorious pirate. Aye, that he was. A pirate whose reputation along the Sword Coast was more than deserved. I joined his crew, though I was no pirate in truth. Hmm. I was not fond of drink as the other sailors were. And instead spent my time at each port making new contacts and listening. Okay. Over the years, Randall grew to depend on my skill. He gave me gold to establish informants throughout the coast, and I heard news the Sorry, instant babe. it happened. Stay here. Stay here. Okay. It was I who kept Randall safe and one step ahead of his pursuers, for always would I know before the chase was on us. You kept a vicious pirate alive? No, I'm not going to ask that. Sounds like a good living? Mm, too approvally. I'll go with the neutral response. How did you feel being a pirate? I was not truly a pirate. I was his master of spies, though I did not put a name to what I did. And while Randall was indeed a pirate, he was an easy man to like. You're such a good girl. I was not fond of the looting and pillaging Randall indulged in and did my best to subtly steer him away from the worst of it. Randall knew what I was doing, and permitted it only because I was otherwise invaluable to him. He cared not if I cringed and turned a cheek when the crew plied the worst of their bloody trade. As the years passed, I came into a certain amount of my own fame along the Sword Coast. My life was my life, and I was satisfied with it, and discharged my duty as best I knew. Okay. It was not until I encountered Lord Nasher that my life would change forever. That, however, is another tale. Ask me of it sometime, my friend. I want to hear more. <laughs> Perhaps another time, my friend. You made for a fine audience. Back to All more right. important matters. Okay. Is there something you I, I shall hope that the gods keep you safe, my friend. You got backstory. And I think I got Arabeth's backstory, but I might I try to see if... to see that you remain safe, my ah. friend. Hello. Lord, have you yet discovered any new information on the cult? Uh, nope, it looks like I've got, I've exhausted my... I wish my... there were better leads. We could... All I can suggest is that you visit the local... Okay. Not everything that is unusual will be the... Alright, I guess I, I got all of her. That you remain... have you Alright, I'm gonna try one more. Of course, ask what you will of me. Okay. Certainly. Nope, nope, I can't ask her about herself yet. Ah. <laughs> Are you trying to escape again? Okay, okay, let me sit you on the ground at least. I, you're wobbling too much before for me to want you to jump, okay? Wobble, wobble. Here you go. Alright. <laughs> Lord Sussy, I agree with you. Lord Nasher... 
I am still pretty upset that he let Fe that he let them kill Fenthic. It's like whether or not he he convicted him. I wasn't quite sure with the frame whether Fenthic got convicted but killed by mob violence or just convicted to placate the mob. But either way, I'm not a fan. I don't like that at all. I think Nasher took the easy way out. All right, Aaron will and Arabeth will. Okay, so I got to be higher level for both of them. Probably the same as Tommy. Come to think about it. All right. Well, I think I will peek my head out the door just to see what we have to expect. I'm going to save my. S I'll keep the hijinks title. The hijinks title amuses me. And let's see what we can see of Port Last. Oh, we have a whole map. Oh goodness. There's a dock house, a temple. Oh, hello, sir. Or is it my lord? I'm not very good at this. It's just you look like an adventurer. My pa and I could certainly use some help. Okay. Calm down. What seems to be the problem? Well, me and my pa, his name's Gerald. Everyone in Port Last knows him. We live on a farm just north of the town gates. There's lots of monsters that live in the hills around our farm. Normally they don't bother us much, but lately they've been ambushing travelers and ca caravans and such, being real bold. They even went and kidnapped my mother while me and Pa were away from the farm last week, so my Pa sent me to town to get help. Uh, surely someone in authority can help you. Pa says he sent lots of message about the troubles, but the mayor's all cut up helping Neverwinter. He's got no time to help us. There were some other adventurers who went before, but none of them had come back. I was hoping maybe you could do what they couldn't. Okay, I'll help. That'll be great. Um, my lord, I'm sure my pa would appreciate it. To get to our farm, you just need to go to the north gate and follow the road a bit. I'll stay here for now and find some more people to send to pa until he ca calls me back. I'm sure you'll do the trick, though. Just go and talk to him. Alright, well, that gives me a quest to go up north. So we've got north to North Road, Green Griffin Inn, and Luskin. Uh, to Eastwood and Road in Neverwinter. And to South and Charwood. Now, if I go my usual style here I'm gonna wander throughout the entire town talking to people before I actually go to my first location which will probably be to the north after all um, there's a dock house there's docks there's a temple Alliance Arms in uh, I am next to the mercenary barracks Al Alhalor's house Rack Danville Wayne of Scarlet cottage okay all right. Well, there are lots of places to visit, and tomorrow I would intend to visit them all. Um, I saved right before I came out, so I probably won't save right here. Um, I don't mind getting uh, accosted again by that young fellow. That's basically, I think, just a hint that, um, that the North Road is probably going to be the easiest fight of them to get you started. Kind of like when you start Chapter 1, you get the little girl coming running up to you about the peninsula and the prison because that's the easiest one there all right so yeah i think i don't really want to call it quits but it is 11 and i do got to get a few things done for tomorrow so i guess that's that uh let me see about who i can do a raid for and i think i'm gonna do I probably raided him before, but I, I never keep track. I, I think I will recommend that we raid my good friend who was here earlier, Effector of Change, if he's still on. I think he's still on. And if I can find my freaking window. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I have so much fun doing this. I'm so glad my friends got me into it. All right. Yep. Effector's still on and he's playing Chrono Cross. I like Chrono Cross a lot. So that's a good plan. All right. All right. Let me see if I can make sure I'm open another window. <laughs> oh. Well, that's, that's awkward. Well, it doesn't look like I disconnected. So that's good. <laughs> All right. That, that always makes me nervous when that happens. All right. So it is nice to see the King of Cozy. He is so good at that. Honestly, um, I, I know him in real life and he, he's one of the ones who got me started. And I, I was a little surprised at how, how good he is at it. It's so, so impressive.
knows exactly what he's doing. All right, all right. Well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>